Hey yo, internet was good. It's your boy be easy. Uh, technically, we back for another episode of the DJ Blaze Radio Show podcast. And technically, this is a uh, review of Snowfall. Um, you know what I'm saying? I was putting that up on a uh, past the remote, another show that's on Crux Media Group. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, I didn't want to go another week without giving y'all any content, and maybe some of the, the subscribe subscribers of this show. Um, didn't know about it You know what I'm saying The past remote um, Thing that we doing uh, With Snowfall Season 4 um, So you know I wanted to put it here Let y'all know That I ain't been Not working You know what I'm saying Hey I've been working Recording a whole bunch Of shows Producing Engineering And all that kind of stuff um, Getting new shows out For y'all to listen to um, But yeah man That's what I've been up to uh, So yeah This is uh, Season 4 Episode well, this episode is episode four of Snowfall. Um, it's called Expansion. Did this episode with my homeboy Kane, aka Hennessy Black, and my homie uh, Melly Mel Mello. Um, but yeah, man, you know, trying to get them acclimated to the podcast game or whatever. But uh, you know, I enjoy talking about TV shows, especially the TV shows that I like. And so uh, we're doing Snowfall. So if you like it, email us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, email me. Let me know what you think. Um, DJ Blaze Show at gmail.com or call me up. Let me know what you think about the show. Uh, 404 436 2370. Uh, if you're looking for Courtney, you can catch her on her show um, on the Crux Media Group uh, network. Her show is a multi dimensional soul. So uh, check out Courtney on her show. That comes out every Monday. Um, but yeah, man. Mm. Enjoy. Snowfall recap Hopefully next week I have a regular show for y'all um, This week I was just kind of tired I'm going to do some new things With some interviews and stuff With some people um, But yeah man And I'll tell y'all what I've been happy about And all of that And my unpopular opinions about stuff But anyway y'all Enjoyed this uh, Episode This recap episode And maybe I'll do something this week Email me You know what I'm saying Y'all ain't email Let me know you miss me or nothing But anyway Enjoy this shit, y'all. Let those who have ears listen. Have you asked? This is the DJ Blaze Show. I'm trying to deal with this man boy Scully shit. I ain't no dealing with those motherfuckers. The only thing you can do is stay out the way and be glad they ain't coming at us. I need you with me, Lee. I'm good. I want to see Franklin Sane in prison. Whatever this is. The people are dying over it. Can you give me anything? Tony Marino. He was Lorena's handler. Start there. You had something you wanted to discuss. You've been hemorrhaging cash to the tune of about 13%. What is it you want? I think I may be able to help you. Hey, Avi, it's Reed Thompson. Listen, my contact in Costa Rica said that the cargo never even showed up. I need to know where my guns are, and I want you to find out. And you'll let me know as soon as you do. You heard anything about Scully? Whether he survived it. How the fuck am I supposed to know? Told that nigga not to get mixed up in that shit. Scully was shot, but he ain't dead. Just real, real mad. Find Franklin Sane! He gonna get off his corners? You gonna leave his people be? Or you the one that's gonna find yourself a new club? You don't mean that shit? The fuck I don't. I built this shit. Me, brick by brick. And I'll be damned if I let you tear it down just because you don't like the way another nigga talk. He ain't killing him. He's getting it. Fuck, they call you man, boy. Because I was a full grown man when I was still just a little boy. Man, boy. Are you sleeping at night, son? Like a baby. What's the rock get a hold of their ass? The person you knew, they gone. I had plans for you. I made arrangements. Arrangements? Yes, arrangements. Come on, Avi. You want to admit what this shit really about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, world? We back for another episode of uh, Past the Remote, presented by Crux Media Group. Uh, this is Snowfall, season four, episode uh, four. Go by the name of Be Easy. And your boy Kane. Saints, what it is and what it ain't. And we got my man. Who, we, who else we got in the building? Mello. Mello, what's good with you? Just happy to be here, ain't that's how they say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Uh, for, hold on, we, we there we go. Got got a new come in the building, so we got to hit the applause for him. You know, thank popping you, another chair. Yeah, yeah. Another, <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> another chair pop. Yeah. So, so I ain't too far behind you. Nah. Yeah, hey, okay. Man. Breaking them in. The train. Yeah, Breaking right. them in, baby. You ready to train? Yeah. Well, welcome, y'all. Uh, welcome back to another episode, listeners. Uh, I know I, I saw some comments there. I was like, "What's the email? How you call in? Email the show. You email djbladeshow at gmail dot com. Uh, call us up four 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 three six two three seven zero. Let us know what you think, your thoughts about the show, all that kind of stuff. What you think about our thoughts and all of that. Uh, Melanie Woods. He's talking about your ass. Wow, Melanie Woods. Man, call you right ass. on out. Call you right on out. Um, yeah. Thank y'all for y'all comments anyway. Uh, well, fellas, I I asked Melly Mel Mello. But did she even That's call good. in? Nah, she ain't calling. Motherfucker. Yeah. What what you thought about this episode? Man, I like the episode. Yeah. It's gonna show you how some things gonna turn. Mm-hmm. If it, the way I look at it. Yeah. Ah man, yeah, I loved it too, man. I I looked at it as a a, a pivotal episode. <laughs> they can go in many different directions just off this one episode alone. Yeah. Um, I think I would call it a triggering episode if I try to sound smart real quick. Oh yeah. Yeah. Especially the end. That was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I liked it. I liked it because I figured out kind of what year this was based on a couple of things that got said in the episode and uh, some of my other nerdy shit that I be doing. <laughs> um, but I'll get into that when we get to them scenes. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and get into it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The episode starts off with Wanda um, and her tooth. <laughs> now, last I think it was last episode, I said that I thought Wanda was going to you on her road to recovery. Yeah, uh, I was wrong. Of course, I told you you was wrong. Yeah, you did. Um, he tell you in the intro once they once they get that rock. Yeah, the person you knew is gone. But sometimes, man, you know you you so you it, something happened to, to bring you off, but it didn't bring her off. And Wanda, she was trying to sell her go her uh, tooth with the silver <laughs> with the uh, feeling. Have hey, you seen yeah. that silver tooth? You saw you can see it. <laughs> yeah, I can see the silver. But <laughs> I had some silver in it. Yeah. Hey, she said yeah. the feeling still in it. Uh huh. Um. She tried to sell it to one, one, one. Uh, uh, I guess a dope boy or whatever. He ain't want it. She, she see her, her boy Lee. Lee. Lee always feeling sorry for her. He still yeah. got love for her. I don't know. Sucker, man. I don't know how much he gave her. Man, they grew up together now. Yeah. Yeah. Remember? Uh, um, I, hey. I don't know if they grew. up. I know they were fucking. Yeah, but you know. <laughs> that, but that was his old lady though. Yeah, he, he was, was in love. He, yeah, he was. Yeah, he yeah. still love her. And all actually, I think he just feel guilty because she's how she is now mm-hmm. because of him. Yeah. He told I, I guess so But he didn't tell her To smoke the rock yeah. They said to Cook the rock yeah. Well I mean You put them around it <sighs> I've been uh, I, and, I was, and Franklin said No nah, I don't want to rock I almost implemented myself Right I implicated myself <laughs> Right But And remember we get our sources From the internet Yeah Yeah from the internet Uh, And so uh, Lee gives us some money You know It's Fatback And CJ And the rest of the crew they had a little restaurant. It's a lot of walk in, walk up restaurants in LA. Yeah. yeah, but it's like that in Los Angeles, though. Yeah, every block you go to, you're gonna see either. Actually, you're gonna see a lot of um, a Mexican spot. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff that be going on in uh, places like that. Gotcha. Yeah, cause you know, um, was that season three? Uh-huh. Uh, Lucia had the the whole uh breakdown, cook up, mix up, cut up operation behind the church. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, yeah. So the uh so they so the boys getting some food, um, and uh, Wanda, she out there still trying to cop, but she notices Scully and his people yeah. pulling up. You know what I'm saying? She then she realized what's going on, so yeah. she holler at Leon them, and they duck down. She gets shot. That should look like a whole menace to society. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see her in front of the car though? <laughs> Did you see her in the front of the car when they start shooting? No. That she hit the ground. If you said she right and she hit the ground, I didn't see that. To that. Oh, second, okay. second time, yeah, second yeah, time. yeah. But I mean, that's the thing, though, because if you watch the movies, like you said, Minute to Society, <laughs> the cop stop. You know what I'm saying? They pull off with the lights off. Friday, the yep. same thing happened mm-hmm. with the drive by. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I ain't never been in the drive by here, but when somebody rolling with their lights off, you you stand, you know what I'm saying? Especially yeah. I be at my dad's house, if you stand on the porch, yeah. hey, 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 who is that? They're coming yeah. up, creeping, you know what I'm yeah. creeping, yeah. So yeah. that's the thing they do out there. Yeah, that's L.A., man. Yeah, that's L.A. Yeah, that set the tone for this episode too. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, the violence. So Wanda gets shot. Nobody else gets shot, but she gets shot. But she lives. Um, and that was the end of that scene. Then we go to uh, one of my favorite scenes because of the actress, uh, Tanashi. 
to not see. <laughs> to not see. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one of them names, I call her T-Baby. She was, <laughs> her and Franklin were smashing. Oh, yeah, she was doing her thing. Too. Yeah, <laughs> and she, uh, she gets a, a call about the shooting at the restaurant. On her answer machine. Yeah, yeah. on her answer machine. And then uh, a little while later, Franklin gets a, a page. Yeah. Um, and then we see Franklin at the hospital. Man, she was trying to put that thing on him, man. She oh, yeah. I heard him throwing it down on the bed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, did she cuff him? Like, yeah. yeah. He yeah. said, oh, I forgot how but, good, but check how good this you out. felt. Mm-hmm. Did you see his eyes when that beeper went off? He looked worried. He knew that was. He knew he knew what was going on. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know he knew it was Leon, but he knew that call right there. Yeah, and then and the page right up because you, know, you could actually hear the uh, the voice recording. Yeah, mm-hmm. he so, knew what was going yeah, on. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. You're right. You know what I'm saying to get them two right back to back. You know what I'm saying. Um, so at the hospital, you know what I'm saying through them talking, we find out that Wanda's in surgery. Mm-hmm. Um, and Franklin tried to chastise Lee about you know so I told you to. I told you to lay low or whatever, you know what I'm saying, stay out of the streets. And Lee was basically like, a nigga got to eat. Like, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I was just getting something to eat. I wasn't in the mix and that. Like, you know, Franklin being Franklin, he was being calculated, and we don't even know it. When he got that page and he knew what it was, mm-hmm. he saw opportunity to try to get that alliance back. Yeah, he need Leon. You know what I'm saying? He do. He was yeah. being calculated from the time he got that page. He knew. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. he, he, he went at Leon, now he going to want to. I know he going to want to go back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm but saying you, you, yeah. heard the, you heard Leon said um, One for you I want to be in this Yep Yep He did yeah. I told him to stay out of that shit Yep yeah. And that's what that, And that's what he told him Because uh, Franklin told him that um, You know Scully Scully um, Is both their problem now Yeah You know what I'm saying So like like you said Kane You know what I'm saying Let's let's team up mm-hmm. He tried to be calculated with him And what Leon told him That's what he's Just what um, No I'm talking In that scene He, he said uh, He said uh, How that worked out for you the first time yeah, yeah. When that's good. Like, no, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like you know, I already yeah. tried and, and mm-hmm. fucked up. Yeah, they know that um, Leon know you. You messing with a killer. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You a hustler. Mm-hmm. His, he's a killer. Mm-hmm. That hustle. Mm-hmm. And see, uh, this kind of off topic, but it's kind of like now that it's all out, the whole Tupac store and uh and Baby Lane. You know what I'm saying? You know, when, when Pac got shot, you know, they didn't say that the hood Ben knew who did it, but there's like Pac was the rapper that, you know, the business more the business mind, mm-hmm. but he wasn't no street shit. There's like, man, everybody knew Baby Lane was like a gangster. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like they know that he was gonna get popped back after he jumped him at the casino. Oh, at the uh, oh yeah, 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 casino, Orlando, you know what um, whatever's um, Orlando Anderson, but they call Anderson, him Baby Lane. Baby Lane, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But so like you saying, he know Leon knows Scully is a motherfucking killer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I I can't go in with a nigga that can be bullshit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying I'd rather do it on my own. Yeah. But I think now Franklin got the well, he got enough muscle. Ah, you got some you, people. You remember what happened though? Yeah, th- nah. th- 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 think fast forward. Do we want to go there yet? Or? Nah, not yet. Not, not yet. Yeah. Not yet. But I mean, he at the at the time at the moment he got some muscle. I ain't gonna say. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Peach, he ain't Peaches down. I, I about to say he really don't because Peaches down. Peaches down. down. Yeah, yeah. And and, and, and without and, going there, and Unc ain't with no war shit. Yeah, right he now. ain't. He yeah, Unc wants to sell, sell stereo. He wants. Yeah, yeah. Unc ain't with no war shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so he really ain't got no power right now. Yeah. So after they have this conversation, um, Franklin walk off, but but. Leon, like when he talking to Franklin, he always looking hard and mean in the face. But yeah. soon as Franklin walk off, you know what I'm saying, his face changed. He look like he missed his boy. Yeah, but you figure out this now. He know Franklin. Yeah. He know he how he got to be with Franklin. Yeah. He know Franklin smart. Yeah. So yeah. that's where he got to be at that time. Mm-hmm. But when he walk away, it's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's like I need you But I don't want to tell you I need you mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. all before You would have handled this And I would have just been right here Yeah But now it's like I'm, I done sat here Talk this shit to you To be my own man yeah. Like, yeah. I got to show you I can handle shit on my own That's why he walk up He's like Fuck I need that nigga yeah, mm-hmm. but, but he told him I can't drive for you no more Yeah, yeah yeah, he, yeah, yeah Another Like what you said before yeah. On another episode He don't want to be the, the number two Or the, or the driver no more He want to yeah. be his He want to be his own man So Which he is now Yeah And, and when you the man You got decisions to make Mm-hmm um, and so he makes a decision. So him and Fatback have a little discussion. Mm-hmm. Um, and did all the other scenes and episodes of Fatback? Did it seem like he was a big dumb nigga? He never talked though. He did. What he never really told him. Okay, because he yeah, was a muscle. I, my the question I had was why the fuck the motherfucker wear the same clothes every motherfucking episode? But you know, if that's where you from. That's where you're from. But even Leon yeah. changed change his shirt. This motherfucker having that same jacket, black shirt, black yeah, jeans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he supposed to be the he supposed to be the muscle though. Yeah. You know them type of niggas was just the same all the time. Yeah, you, you said, man. <laughs> yeah, but so they 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 came up they came up with the idea um, 
of getting a private investigator to find out, you Mag- know. Magnum PI type motherfucker. Yeah, like <laughs> they made him seem so dumb, man. Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> yeah, but then in the hospital he was like, Why you think we bought it here, you stupid motherfucker? That's what he told the little nigga. Yeah. When they, yeah, the yeah. Was about the police coming about the gunshots. He's like, they don't give a fuck gunshots here. So now he's looking like the the yeah. somewhat educated. Yeah, a little But yeah. If, you, if you look at this, um, in the beginning, when it first started, well, he was the one talking to Franklin on the phone. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I never got on the phone. He's like, oh, you heard anything yeah. about Scully? Like, how the fuck would I know? Yeah, and when he do, he, when he do speak, he speak with intelligence. Mm-hmm. Just like when he said, man, you can't pay the nurse that money. Mm-hmm. You got to go down here and give him that money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And also, what I saw that part too, right? For that one time, Leon started thinking like Franklin. Yeah, Leon started thinking like Franklin. Mm-hmm. When he said, go get the, um, the, the PI. PI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That let you know Leon ain't dumb. Yeah, he he, you know he took notes. Yeah. He he's he's what uh Frank Lewis was the Bumpy Johnson allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. Um, so next we see Avi and Reed. Um, they're meeting up and they're talking about a shipment that was missing. Um, that was supposed to uh go to Iran, but it never left. Yeah, and the money was missing. Um, now this made me think of something, and this this let me know what time period this was happening in. Um, yeah. back in back in uh eighty five, right? How all of this stuff had to do with like you know they call it the Iran Contra. Mm-hmm. Fair whatever So one of the things That happened was In Iran It was like seven pr- people That got uh, Kidnapped Okay So you know how like The USA be like You know what I'm saying We're not negotiating With terrorists or whatever Right right They negotiated with the terrorists They mm-hmm. negotiated That would get They would give Weapons to Iran To fight the uh, The terrorists mm-hmm. Who took the people And they offered To give them money too To, to uh, the mm-hmm. people That were shipping it right So what happened was the money got deposited. It was like $15 million. The money got deposited. Yeah. But the shipment couldn't land in like um, Costa Rica or somewhere. The customs wouldn't let the, the shipment land. So the shipment went back to where it came from. Okay. The terrorists was like, yo, where our shit at? We never got it. Right. The U.S. didn't know that. Right. But the money got taken. Like, well, y'all didn't get the shipment. Where the money at? The money was gone. This is what he was talking about here. This happened in 85. Okay. Yeah. So um, what wound up happening was somebody else sent the, sent the shipment, um, but it was the wrong shit. Like, they wanted, like, at first they was going to send them, like, eight missiles. Like, they were sending big shit, mm-hmm. like AKs and missiles and yeah. all kind of shit, like, hundreds of thousands of rounds of ammunition. Okay. Shit that the U.S. people didn't know. It was all supposed to be underhanded. Like, the government knew about it, but the people didn't know about it, like, right. higher-ups and shit. Okay. And that's why they needed, like, Reed to sell the drugs. To fund it. So, so they could fund the shit. And it, uh-huh. Reed even says it, like, um, well, later on, when he meets with the other dude, he yeah. says how much money he makes them a month and stuff like that. See, I'm glad you explained that to me, because the whole time, I'm just thinking Javi is up to some of his shit. Like, nah. Like he, he usually is. So I'm glad you explained that to yeah, me. Yeah, he was kind of like the middle, he was kind of like the middleman or whatever. Um, And, and they, they talk about Javi part a, a little bit later, too. Um, but that let me know kind of like the time period this is happening. Because, you know what I'm saying, you think the 80s, mm-hmm. but you don't really know when in the 80s. But this happened, excuse me, in like 85. Right. Um, and you right on. Because if, if you really, if you, you remember that talk they had with each other at the, the restaurant, right? Mm-hmm. He said, we've been doing this five or six years. Mm-hmm. So if you take that back, they started in 1980. Mm-hmm. And if you look around, you'll see it was, well, to me, I could see it was, the late seventies or the early eighties, mm-hmm. with like the music mm-hmm. and all of that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. And, yeah, and that's when everything hit in the eighties, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. That was good, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, you know, try to be a little smart. Try to give oh, y'all yeah, a little bit. Got it. Good you know observation, buddy. Good oh, observation. Yeah. Buddy. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, you know, as he talking about um, talking about it to Avi or whatever, Teddy was like, "Well, shit, I'll go to Beirut and and, and, and get my money back if I have to." Mm-hmm. And that's when Avi was like, "Man, you you going to Beirut? You crazy!" Like Avi's looking at Teddy different now, right? You know what I'm saying? All before he used to bully him, mm-hmm. man. Like you said, the other episode, he made him get butt naked. Remember, in like episode two though, Avi put, a, I mean, uh, Teddy put a gun out, shot right. it in the room. Like, yo, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, um, but you got, but you got to remember, he kind of got Avi by the balls because you know Javi Javi. Was arrested by the feds last season or season two, remember? Yeah, he was. Yeah, so he kind of got him by the balls. You yeah, know he I mean? do. He do. Yeah, yeah. Avi did change his tune. He and his he and his wild. Right. He act a little bit more uh yeah. more tame now, um, but, but he's still scared. Of, he's still scared of Reed. Oh, he got to yeah. be. Yeah, but Reed changed. 
Oh yeah, he, he did. He's yeah. a killer. He's really a he killer. A killer. Now. Yeah, don't mess with Reed. He's yeah, smoking cigarettes, doing coke and everything. I, I told Shane you. Smoking. I told you he was doing coke. Yeah. First episode, I said I saw him yeah, doing I did miss, too. I missed the coke. I missed yeah. the coke. Yeah. So, hey, yo, he going he's, he's a killer. He got money. Yeah, and he can anytime put you back in, in, in the mm-hmm. federal yeah. penitentiary. He, he got the biggest gang in the city. Yep. in the world behind the world. world. Yeah. Yeah. And the crazy the shit is like he ain't. He's not like afraid to tell his people. Like he told Gustavo, like, yeah, okay, I work for the CIA. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like he had to pull them strings, and he was like, now nah, basically you work for the CIA. Right. Yeah. And he really did the same shit for Avi back in the um, I think it was season two or three, when um, Franklin and Franklin met with Avi, and they they had a little uh disagreement or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, he basically told uh, he basically made Avi take the deal with Franklin. Yeah, so they could get the weapons or whatever. So, yeah. um, and just like you said about the scene, that's a little further ahead. But it's like, like you said, in that time frame, like like Franklin told him, once the war is over, my services ain't needed yeah, no more. Yeah, ain't need me no more. So you really, you know what I'm saying, you got everybody. He got all the players by the balls. Mm-hmm. The only people that got him by the balls is his high ups who acting like this don't even exist. Yep. Yeah. So he kind of he kind of good with them, right? Yeah. Because all he got to do is spill the beans. Now they gonna kill him. Oh, they definitely gonna kill him. Because that's what the government do. But. And and deny everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, the next scene is they back at the hospital. Well, no, we at the uh, PI's office. They go to the PI, mm-hmm. um, Lee and Fat back, um, and he asking them like, "Who is he? Whatever, you know, what I'm saying where he from." And they don't really know nothing about him. All they know is he's his name's Scully. He, he live the in the bottoms. That's it. Um, and uh, the dude kind of seemed apprehensive, like he don't want to do it and shit until uh, Lee pull out that big wad oh, of money. You seen that breath? Yeah, yeah <laughs> sat it, sat it on the table. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Uh, but you think he would have did it if he would have seen what them police seen that time? Oh no! <laughs> well, you no, know, I don't, I I think he would have. He played his. I think he know the area. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he said he said you want me to go in the bottoms. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all you know about him. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So he know he know the area. He know about yeah. the bottoms. And and that's his career. Like that's what he do. Yeah, yeah that's what he do. Um, because uh, what's uh, Nick's? He he probably. It's it's crazy. Like they live in that same area, or whatever. But but in order to like really go there. I don't think Nick's really had to ever go to the bottom, so he didn't know. Yeah, he even said that was out of his jurisdiction. Yeah, yeah. He, had, he ain't got no business over there. Yeah, yeah. so he wouldn't know, but, you know, black people know, like, don't go over here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and he a P.I. Yeah, right. So he know he know what's going on <laughs> yeah, in the hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then we have Franklin and Sissy, and they're meeting up with Paul Davis. Um, is, is it me? Do that motherfucker look dead when he be talking? Like, is it the makeup or something? Like he just like oh, a Paul. Yeah, he just like a live dead nigga when he talking. <laughs> man, Paul, Paul been around for years, man. He need that makeup. Um, I, I think I be trying to compare him to the shy character, and and I, I think the shy that, that's the same dude. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. But he mm-hmm. in, in 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 Snowfall, he just looks so fucking old and dead. Like <laughs> maybe, it, it's like when he get done his scene, he go lay in the coffin until they, they call him back for his next <laughs> yeah. scene. Maybe maybe it's the lighting or something. Yeah. I, don't I don't know. know. A lot of white he, people work on this show. Black people okay. work on the shot. Yeah, yeah right. That's crazy. Do the shine kind of ring. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, like they trying to hide some shit. Yeah, now um, all, each of them, you know, they thank each other for handling each other's issues. Mm-hmm. You know, thank they thank him for uh, handling the cop issue, right? And he thanked them for handling the um. Issue with the Mosleys, I think that's the people name. Well, he he said he yeah. appreciate the bookstore. Yeah, 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 yeah. with the bookstore. Um, Can I ask you something? Mm-hmm. Both of y'all, um, is it is it just me or does it seem like Franklin tone or his uh, presence towards uh, Davis is different this episode than what it was the previous two? Like you know, the previous two he signed, he seemed real friendly with Mister Davis, appreciative to get his business. But now that he got his been you didn't see how his facial expression was kind of like. Well, it started off the conversation though when Sissy was like, she was talking and he was like, "Oh, you doing your sales pitch now?" And then as soon as he did that, he went and, and, and like this them and talked to the young boy or yeah. whatever. That's you know what I'm saying. saying? So, so Franklin whole that whole conversation, his face was kind of like, hmm. I mean, hmm. if you talk to my mama like that, I'm gonna be like that too. I don't care who he <laughs> is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but but I mean, <sighs> at the same time. It, it, like he said, we need each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But really, Davis don't need you because he's been doing this thing. But I, it just seemed like Franklin just was just kind of more like, I, you done got in the bed with me now, so I ain't got to be friendly yeah. with you. You know what I'm saying? This, oh, yeah. This, this I, is what the fuck it is. Nah. I, I think it was a combination of that and the way he talked to his mama like right before then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because he was, yeah. was... She was been kind of extra, though. Not really. I, I mean, that's what they, that's what yeah. you got to do, though. I yeah. Mean, but he already knew what was up. Yeah, and this yeah, is true. Said, um, you hemorrhaging cash to the point of thirteen percent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like like yeah, with <laughs> she was out. Yeah, like, she oh, was. Oh, oh, so I, I guess now you're gonna uh, dangle your son's drug money in my face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, that's yeah. and it came back just like that, uh-huh. yeah. just like that. So yeah. it's kind of like so when this when this conversation happened and she, you know, uh, we did, we did this and this and this. Like that wasn't needed uh, no more. The basis of our relationship has already been 
yeah. found the foundation of Inlay. But he he said something that that um that 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 stuck with me because he said. It's like you giving me a thousand dollars, or you giving me a Rolls Royce. Oh, you sell me the Rolls Royce for a thousand dollars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. When I when I get stopped, mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to ask where it came from. Yep. Or oh, I'm going to jail for the rest of the years yeah. I got alive. So the, he told you something happened. This ain't right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm telling him where it came from. Mm-hmm. No, but well, basically what he's saying is either way, I'm losing this Rolls Royce. Yeah. So he's basically saying it, it's no good outcome, regardless. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then he gonna tell him. Yeah, yeah I caught so. both of them. Yeah, yeah both yeah, of them. So yeah, but. She came back and told them, you know what I'm saying? Basically, she told them how they clean their money. Yeah. And that you know, she was like, it's, it's how she said, she said something like, it's as real as this tangerine. And she held a hand out, wasn't nothing. Dog, in that, hand, you know I watched saying? this episode four or five times. And every time I stare at her fucking hand and try to read her lips at the same time, like, I don't I don't know if she said this, 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 tin, this tin plate or tin. I don't know what the fuck she said. <laughs> yeah, she said tangerine. Oh, okay. Yeah. I ain't know yeah. the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They ain't rich for them. That's a yeah. country club. Yeah. yeah. I ain't know what the fuck she said. I ain't know. <laughs> Yeah, but um, ha! You see how he slided Franklin though, with 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 the young the young boy. You know what I'm saying, tell him about oh, school. Yeah. I'm bitch graduation. Oh yeah, that was Franklin. That that was, that Franklin, was Franklin years was ago. Supposed to be. Mm-hmm. You right, dad. That, you right. He would. Yeah. He he threw a little jab at Franklin by doing that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? How how things going? Oh, harder than trying to uh trying to try to baptize a uh, what do you say a holy cat or some something. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Something like you know that. what I'm saying? He's like, I'm going to be at your graduation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, you know this Franklin hit as soon as he said that Franklin face kind of like because he seen himself. Yeah. He and seen he, know what he would have been if he didn't go down. Mm-hmm. down so boom, down. look at it this way. Did Franklin look at it in a positive way or a negative way? I think he rem- reminisce. I don't know if he reminisce because he looking at a black boy at a white country club serving folks, yeah. being a fucking nobody. When now I'm sitting in this chair, making a million dollar deal. So it depends on the view or point of view. Is Franklin reminiscing about what I could have been and been on a straight and narrow, and I never would have got shot. I wouldn't be walking with this cane. My mama wouldn't have been picked up by the police. Or is he looking at it like, look at this do boy ass nigga right here at this white country club? I ain't. I'm glad I ain't go that route. I think he was reminiscing about what happened to him in that school. This what I was. What happened to him when he was trying to get on the the um, same page as that dude, mm-hmm. and how they treated him at that school when they kicked right. him out. Right. When his mama didn't have that money. True. 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 Remember true. that. Now your mama there, you got that money. Mm-hmm. But either way, it's it's a good. It's I guess the way you wanted to take it at that time. Right. Mm-hmm. How would you took it? Me. Yeah. I probably would have looked. I I looked. I just I could have went this way. I'm this way now. Mm-hmm. But. It's either way. So you seen yourself, you seen yourself in the past. Now you see yourself in the future. Right. And you see what yourself as right now. You sitting across from Paul Davis talking. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. My I think he's just so. Even though it, you know, what I'm saying it ain't. He ain't that much older than the than, than the young yeah. boy or whatever. But probably four or five years. Yeah, yeah. That ain't really that much. That ain't nah, really that no. much older. He might be older than that because he started yeah. at twenty and he been going for about five years. Five years. So he's nah, about Frank- twenty five. Nah, Franklin ain't that old. He like twenty two, twenty three. If he be going, for, you got remember now episode one. He was remember he was two years ahead of Mel and Which Mel was a 18. senior. So Mel was eighteen. So I mean he was twenty. Mm-hmm. This is episode four. I mean season four. So at least got to be four or five. Years. Nah, not necessarily. The seasons because remember season three. It's been four months since season three. Ah, you know what I'm saying? So it don't go by years. You know what I'm saying? So he like he number like twenty two. But he also yeah, he he also he told Reed, he said, Well, we've been going like five years now. Well he said you've been you've been been going the war. Okay. We've been going for five years. But you right though, because you remember the episode with the um the reporter and she was talking to her little I guess her uh do boy or uh, assistant or whatever, the other reporter. She was like, um he tried to follow the money and it was like a bunch of offshore accounts and she said I could have twenty one year old be this smart. Yeah, so he ain't number twenty one. Yeah, yeah, so you're yeah, right. you're right. I could see, nigga, I fucked up. I fucked up. Nah, okay. nah, you good. But see, so <laughs> that he was that a good young. Catch. So the so the boy ain't nothing but like 18, 18, 17, 17, 18. Yeah. So they ain't nothing but three years apart. But in the line of work, Franklin, then that's a lifetime. Mm-hmm. So you know, what I'm saying he ain't even looking back that far. Like he he might not even pay attention to that. He might just pay attention to the way he yeah. treated the boy or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but that was the whole three sixty right in front of your face, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For Franklin Yeah To go from that To now he Yeah and Sitting at the trying table to go. Yeah. yeah He had the table with him I mean that's a discussion He had with his mama uh, After that scene Remember when they was yeah. at the house uh-huh. Yeah and he, he was like well, We'll like, get to it Oh we'll yeah get to right, it. Right, yeah, right, We'll get right. to it Now <laughs> Frank, Frank, Yeah Franklin agrees to um, I mean uh, Davis agrees to work with them mm-hmm. But he Wants them to uh, Loan a Money to a pet project That he has um, He said they'll get their return In about 18 months Right um, so now we're back at the hospital And CJ 
I could never figure out the dude's name because they never say his name, but that's the other dude that's with uh, Fatback. Yeah. yeah, the young boy, CJ. Um, he sent him a page that she was out of surgery or whatever, but right. they come to the hospital and yeah. he was, you know, they have a little back and forth with that. But he tells them <laughs> that um, she needs a rest. Uh, she going to be detoxing mm-hmm. and uh, basically telling her they're going to they, kick, they kick her out when she basically able to uh, use the bathroom by herself. Yeah. Um, and that's when we see the nurse and uh She was fine and shit. Too. Yeah, she was. <laughs> and she is in real life. And um, Oh you oh you went and found her? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She got about two thousand <laughs> followers on Instagram. What's her name? What's her name? I can't find her name. Oh, we'll get only you only, only two thousand? Oh, that shit gonna yeah, shoot up. Like, yeah, about oh, to shoot yeah. up. That, yeah, is she an astro? And she's she was an extra. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. she uh oh. make, make, yeah. make sure you yeah. But um <laughs> but but he offered to pay the nurse um the money. Yeah, she don't take it, and that's well, like you said, fat back. He suggested they go pay, go see Billing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because that's the people that deal with the money or whatever. Right, um, right, right. And they, and they say, like you said, damn, she was fine. <laughs> yeah. um, but she was though. Yeah, yeah. that was smart of them. Though. Hey man, listen, scrubs, uh, TSA pants, <laughs> and them girls that work at Walmart and them khakis. That that do it for you. You're the best three pants you gonna get a female. In. You can tell what she works with. Well, hey, scrubs, Walmart khaki pants, and them TSA pants. Yeah, man. Nah, I like hey. the TSA pants. <laughs> them blue ones. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, yeah. That get me in trouble. Yeah. Man. The Navy Jones. Hey, can I say one more thing with Fat Matt's um, showed his intelligence too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. When he said, um, when um, your boy, what's his name? That they never say his name. Cj. Cj, CJ come out. And he said, "Do we got to worry about the police?" He said, "Oh nah, yeah, we don't got to worry about the police." That's why I brought him to this house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. CJ was the first one to come busting out the restaurant too. He was oh, what? No, I, no, on I, the side. No, that was the light skinned dude. Oh, so that wasn't CJ. Nah, CJ went down beside the fire hydrant or like the front part of the car. I thought that was CJ. Nah, that, man, was the light, sure? that was the light. That was a light skinned dude that oh. don't say nothing. in None of the episodes. Yeah. I did thought CJ got got shot. How he went down though? Yeah, he he, 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 he yeah. went down. And I think he was holding his gun because I think I saw it like the second or third time. He was holding the gun, but he wasn't busting. Mm-hmm. Light skinned buddy out the side, like you said, he was letting it rip. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was letting it rip. But that's my I think last episode or either the beginning of this episode, my first time ever seeing him. Though. He looked like the dude that came up out the tr- um, when they when Scully was coming at first. Who was with Man Boy? Mm-hmm. He came up out the um, trailer shooting. Right. Yeah, that and ain't. I looked yeah. at. I said, man. Yeah, they do all all the, all the light skinned dudes do look yeah, alike. Yeah. All them light skinned vanilla wafers look, look like uh, Drake. <laughs> Yeah, vanilla wafer. Skinny Drake, uh, fat Drake. <laughs> Y'all crazy. <laughs> nah, I didn't stop. Um, so then we see Teddy at his uh office or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he gets a visit from uh Hav Maya. That's uh one of the guys from the CIA. Right. And, um He's telling Freddie that I mean Teddy that basically not only is DFS upset with what happened, mm-hmm. um, the DEA is mad too. And Fred and Teddy um, dropped his nuts on him. Yeah, he, he did. Guy. Yeah. You gonna take care of him? Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. He's saying like, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're gonna take some care of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, and the dude worried about him because Teddy been undercover for a long time, yeah. so he basically asked him like, "Yo, you good? Like, you need a break or whatever?" He acting like Jay Reed. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Um, and that's when Teddy asked him to uh look in the obvious financials to see if he made any large deposits. Because yeah, so if yeah. if Avi did, mm-hmm. then that means he got that money out of that 15 million. Some his cut out of, out of that 15 million. Um. And that's when we and in our conversation we find out that Teddy makes eight million dollars a month right, yeah. for the government, mm-hmm. which is crazy. Um, then we see Scully and his home is there at, at a restaurant, um, and this is something else that let me know what year it is okay. um, because they were sitting there talking about a banana in the tailpipe, okay, which yeah, come yeah. from Beverly Hills Cop. You know, oh, what I'm saying? that's where that came from. Yeah, you know where yeah. I thought it came from. What? Can't see Mystical it. song? No. What? Can't see it. We talked about this last time off air, um, but I, I thought it came from that uh, lifestyle. Oh, I get what you're saying. That's the only time I ever heard it. Yeah, nah, they were talking about because that's the scene from Beverly Hills Cop. He put put that in there. He actually did. You know, I never watched that movie. Yeah, you young. It's, it's, <laughs> I guess I, I seen you coming to America and all that other mm, shit. Man, that was yeah. a good movie, man. Yeah, you got to go back and watch that uh, uh, classic. I'm only an Eddie, Mur- Eddie Murphy fan in life, and all his other movies, I hate them. You got that? That'll be one you'll like. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Chris Rock in it. And, and you know, and off top again, but you know the uh, the police chief, uh, he had a black police chief or something in that movie, right? Uh huh. The one in Detroit. Yep. That's yeah, how, that's how I was going with it. Yep. He was, re- yeah, he was really a cop. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, that's where that movie came. That's where that scene. They were talking about that movie. Okay. And that movie came out in '84. I was born '85. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um. 
that let me know the time period too. So it was, you know, 84, 85. Mm. But the other scene let me know it was 85 by that going down. Gotcha. Um, and it was a funny little scene with them going yeah. back and forth. And my man was shut. Remember, the um, P.I. was across the street. Yeah, he was yeah. across the street taking watching pictures. them, taking pictures. Then that nice Corn- thing was walking up behind yeah, him. Yeah, right Cornrows stood. And at yeah. first, when I first saw it, Cornrows was like, Hey, hey! You see that shit? You see, yeah, he said that. I was like, "Oh, oh yeah. my man!" Put my man put the camera down. He he leaned. He started looking around. Put his hand on his hey. on his chin. Hey, that that gave me them vibes when you was back oh. in high school and and you stalking your girl crib to see if another nigga caught in the yard. Any type mm. of vibes that gave me. Yeah, dude. I don't know too much about that. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I think I think every man know at least one time. Oh, at least one that. time. Got it. The eyes shit. Um, oh man! When y'all first saw that scene, did y'all Wait. think he was looking at him? Of course, yeah, everybody yeah, did. Everybody everybody did. Too. Then they, ch- then the crazy shit they did was they changed the music, the little music can't you know the little scary music, little ominous music came yeah, or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then, like you said, we saw it was a little chick walking behind or whatever. But you yeah. see, like I said, that's his that's his job because you notice he's in a passenger seat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He, oh yeah, he was in the passenger he's seat. In the passenger seat. Yeah, that's what I was because I was wondering. I was like, um, is he gonna burn the cover and just? Burn out. <laughs> That's what I thought too. I yeah. didn't notice that till like the second or third time I watched it. Like yeah. I was like, oh shit, I, I would have just peeled out. Yeah. But he couldn't. He, couldn't. Was yeah, he was in the passenger seat. Yeah. yeah, that was a good one, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, that was that was. I like like I I think I said this on another episode. Like when it it like full of um, suspense and stuff like that. I like when they have like little comedy in there. To like break it up because that yeah. broke up the suspense right there. Because I thought right. that dude was about to get shot up, man. Swiss cheese that come. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, we're back at the, we're at the house and uh, Franklin and Sissy, that's his mama. Mm-hmm. Uh, they discussing the new deal um, that they made, which ends up being a church. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, also a pivoting point. Mm-hmm. And this is when uh, Sissy basically asked him, like, "Yo, how long this gonna take?" Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And Franklin trying to convince her that you know this is what we doing it for to, to to make money and all this and that. She was like, "Nah, I'm doing this to get you off the street." Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And they had to have us walk away. With nobody in prison, nobody dead. Mm-hmm. As a family, we can yeah. go live on the peace as me and theirs, happy. Mm-hmm. But Franklin, yeah. being a young nigga that that came from pretty much nothing, he sees the dollar signs. But as you said, but you know what though, I ain't gonna say he mm-hmm. came from nothing. He's been, you remember his mom was about to lose the house. Yeah. She was about to lose the house, but that was just because his, and, da- and, and his remember, daddy was an alcoholic. And, 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 no, this I wasn't been going. And but, he, he was on the way back. But yeah, but the thing is, they really if. Now looking at the, the wealth gap, mm-hmm. they did come from nothing. Remember, he was about to get kicked out of school. He but, did get kicked out of school. Well, that that was a um. I don't think that really happened. Which what what really happened? The the thing with him about to get kicked out of school and all of that. I don't think that really happened. I think it was like some kind of dream or what if? Because it was no, it was no, in all no. hold on because it was all in black and white. His teacher was Reed. No, but before that he was getting kicked out of school. Remember, he called his mama for the money. That was the same scene. That was the same episode. Oh, so you think he was dreaming that? Yeah, because that was after he got shot. Remember? Oh, okay. That's and it was all in black and white. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back. And see yeah, that. watch it again. His yeah. teacher, his te- his professor in that class was Reed. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm, okay. That's what I got from it. No. I'm, I'm have to go back and revisit that. Yeah, watch it again and and I, st- like, I still think they ain't came from much of nothing though. I mean, I, 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 I ain't that, saying it was well yeah, off. Yeah, because they you know they they lived in South Central. Ain't too much in South Central. But like I told him. South Central really is a middle class neighborhood. Where at now? Where wait, at wait, 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 wait. He, he's saying before the, the pandemic. Before all of this, it, it was a yeah. middle, like, because his next door neighbor was um was uh, Andre, <laughs> Andre, a police officer. Yeah. Taking care of his house. Um, Even, uh, uh, what's the name? Um, Jerome and Louie. They had a house. They had a house and they lived, yeah. they ain't lived too far. You know what I'm saying? They're still true. in the same neighborhood mm-hmm. or whatever. So they was, you know, middle class. He did what he did. He was a little hustler yeah. too, but I, like, it's, I, I don't, I, Cause like when when I, when I hear somebody say came from nothing, I mean like you eating down you syrup sandwiches, yeah, you know what I'm saying, shit like where that. Where Leon so, from? Yeah, yeah, from where Leon trenches. from? Yeah. So you know so you remember the uh, the scene and the conversation he had with Mel, um, season one inside the store before Leon and Kevin get there, and she was like, and she was like, you know, you supposed to be in the, going to this fancy school off the college. He's like, yeah. dang, what I want in life? She's like, what you want? He's like, I want power. No, he mm-hmm. said, I want money mm-hmm. and the power that comes along with it. Mm-hmm. So if we fast forward now to this last episode. That's what I'm saying by, you know, his vision was that dollar. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I'm not just saying he a nigga that came from nothing, but now he sees the power that he has to buy that all these, uh, uh, like like his mama said last episode, these commercial these commercial mm-hmm. sites and these commercial businesses and these mm-hmm. opportunities that he's not able to provide. You know even, even, um, even with that, even like before he really got into like selling dope, he was just selling weed or whatever. 
you know what I'm saying? He was he was still selling weed. Like he could have got a little regular little job, mm-hmm. but he still was hustling. Right. Matter of fact, he had a regular little job working, working at the show. store. Yeah, working at the show. Uh, yeah. So remember last episode, I asked you if you think he bought it. I still don't know. Yeah, we uh, we probably will never know, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Yeah. Um, did you see the end when it was, when him and Sissy was talking? But at the end, he got excited when he said, "I can end." Try to put it into systemic race generations yeah. of system and yeah. 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 yeah, then she had to calm him down. Mm-hmm. So you still see that part of him too, yeah, and, and yeah. also split forward that he's also trying to appease her because remember he asked her why is nothing never fucking good enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's when she mm-hmm. told him like it is good enough, but this yeah. you still hustling, you still in the in the yeah. streets. So mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. She was like until until you out of the streets altogether, yeah. none I, of this mean nothing, and I can't rest. Yeah, she can't rest. Yeah, yeah. And, and you see it on her face all the time. Yeah, yeah. and that's a quick a catch twenty two with her because she want him out, but she understands everything she not has came from this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But mm-hmm. she love her son though. Oh yeah, and she only got one. one. That's why I look at it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the next scene we see Gustavo, and he's meeting with uh his brother's uh, wife's s- sister. sister. Yeah, yeah. Her name is uh Ziamara. Um, and she taking care of the kids, so they never really mentioned what happened to the kids. You know what I'm saying? We knew the kids got taken. If they, they was in foster care. Oh, they were in foster care. Yeah, you remember last episode, um, Gustavo said that. Oh, okay, I missed that. But is it true? Because I was I was trying to figure that too. When he went in the house, when he went in the house, right? Mm-hmm. The mama and the daddy was there, right? But the, was the kids there? I heard them calling his name, calling their names. We never, but I never, we never seen see what the they found. Yeah, that's yeah, see, I, that's why I say I missed that part with so, what happened to, to the kids. So when he was having a uh, conversation with Teddy mm-hmm. after, after he killed the the guy. Um and, and, and uh, put a hundred thousand on his head, right? And he was like, "Um, what do you want me to do?" Have, no, he said, "Have you ever lost everything?" He said, "My family is gone. The kids are in foster care." Oh, I missed that. Okay, yeah. yeah so that, that's one reason why I knew. Cause so I guess she scene. got him. She got him out of foster care because she was next to Ken or whatever. And and you got to remember, he got the money to, to push that process. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so she asked him if he killed the people that did it, mm-hmm. and he nodded his head, yeah. Um, and he offered to give her a whole bunch of money. Yeah. Um, but she was like She don't want to put her life On the, on, the, on hold She don't want to put her life on hold To raise her to sister, raise her sister, 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 sister kids, kids. Um, So she looked pretty young too So yeah. you know what I'm saying You don't know I thought she wanted him to be there too She probably She did does. say yeah. something like like You know what I'm saying She ain't been around He ain't been around or whatever But he yeah. basically said that uh, He can't come around right now Yeah so, Cause yeah. you know Cause all they got going on But um I thought I thought they revealed something in that scene, but I just wasn't paying attention sooner. <laughs> Earlier, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, um, hey, you see how they was going back and forth to Spanish? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 that'll yeah. throw you off now. Uh, yeah, you you have to listen and then you got to look down and read and look up and listen again. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, my TV ain't have nothing there on there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next, we see Irene and she's at work. Um, her and her partner, her uh, that other reporter, man, she, she calling that. around all day looking for Tony Marino. Yeah. Um. And she gets nowhere. Mm-hmm. Basically, she called his uh, gra- I think she called his mother, mother, his grandmother, s- ex wife, ex- sister, all kid. kind of people. Uh, yeah. Dan Marino, yeah. mm-hmm. Dan Marino, all the yeah, all of them. Dolphins. Um, and she mentioned her dilemma to one of her coworkers. Um, and the coworker tells her to keep pushing her story, and that something yeah. will pop. No, to keep to keep uh pushing the angle from the uh the shelter. What, what yeah. she what she said to keep keep going or whatever. Then she mm-hmm. tells her to go to yeah. the um go to the shelter to um. The work the angle with Alton because right. she said it'll um, keep you busy. Yep. Yeah, and yeah. she said that you know <clears throat> that the son is selling drugs or whatever. Follow you know what I'm saying. And he got he got a um shelter. She was like that basically a guilt shelter. Guilt shelter. Yeah. Yep. You follow know the saying? money. Yeah, she tell her to follow but, the money. But you, um, um with her right. Mm-hmm. You could see that um you could see that she ain't right right. Yeah. You can see it in all the stuff that's missing in her life. How they show you this. Oh yeah, in her life. yeah, yeah. That's how much a dog she is. Like mm-hmm. she can be out all night, you know, because she don't got nothing to go home to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's why she be on it. Like she's that. consumed by her work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Her husband, you know, that dude that was in the um series, her baby daddy. Yeah, and he said, "Well, I got." Some. She wanted him to stay the night. He said, "I got somebody now." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we find out that, that yeah. that's her ex husband. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In that same series, and a mm-hmm. daughter don't want nothing to do with it for some reason. We mm-hmm. and we still don't yeah. know what you know. what I'm saying, and well, she always about. drinking. Oh, oh yeah, she stayed lit now. <laughs> yeah. Um. The next scene we got is it's a whole lot of talking in this scene. So instead of me talking about it, I'm gonna play this next scene. It's Alton and uh sissy and they in the kitchen. Um, they have a little back and forth about um eat with me, baby. Yeah, yeah. that's a good. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, so I'm gonna play this scene. Oh boy, what's all this? No um, bookkeeping, 
moving some things around now that we're in business with Davis. Oh, I guess that luncheon went pretty well. Did you guys toast to the Mosleys? Paul Davis is a snake. Came up in the jungle. He might have been that way, but he's a businessman now. A different kind of snake, but it still slithers. You know, I just want you to know who you're cozying okay. up to. Cozying up to a snake helps make sure I never get thrown into the back of a police car or watch my son being driven off in one. That's exactly what I will do. What you gonna do when that snake tries to bite you? Then I will chop his goddamn head off and move on to the next one. All right. God. I'm sorry. I know you're just doing what you can. Come on. Eat with me. Yeah, so, uh... That was a good scene. It was something she, uh, he said in that scene about Paul Davis. Mm -hmm. He said he came up in the jungle. I was, yeah. I was thinking, I was, I was going to say that. I ain't know if he's going to say nothing. I was, was yeah. going to say, if you know where that is, then you know yeah. he came from some yeah. gutter shit too. Because mm -hmm. the jungle is the, is the area where. Training day. The shit that happened in training day. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, yeah. So uh, he came from the hood too. That, but, that, that's where the whole bird man. All that clapping shit came yeah, from. That's where that came from. Yeah. yeah. But, but you know what? You, do you think they. They listening to Pops now? I know sometimes he can get through with Franklin, but he can't get through with Franklin enough to pull him. Right, right, right. But he says some stuff that's Yeah, he do. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. he, he been, he's, he's been... He's been there. Yeah, not from the drug aspect, but he's been in the streets. You yeah. know what I'm saying? As a panther. As a panther, yep. as a parent, as a, as a drunk, homeless. Mm -hmm. and, and as a dope hit. Yep. Well, well he, he was an alcoholic. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> something, like, something to go at what you said and something... Um, about them whether or not they're listening to each other, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna bring that up a little bit later um, when Franklin meets up with Teddy. But I'm gonna bring that up later, and I'll let you know what I think about you know what I'm saying the question you asked. Um, well, it's the next scene when Reed and Franklin meet up, and basically Franklin and asking him, you know what I'm saying, how much time we got left. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because like we said earlier, he said well, you've been at it for five years. Um, so how much time is it gonna you know what I'm saying take and Reed basically tell him, like, if I give you a time now, nah, I'm basically, you know, Lying bullshitting. You. Yeah, sure, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, and that's when Franklin suggests that, um, you know, if I got more work from you, would that speed up the process? Right. And Reed was like, yeah, it could or whatever. But to your point, um, I think even though Franklin act hard when he's talking to his mama, he took that in and he went straight to Reed and was like, yo, yeah. how much time is this going to take? I, you know what I'm saying? I need, I need a date, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, to know when I can get out. Cause he was like in my line of work, you know, the shelf life ain't on. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We've been in it for so long. Um, but I think the same thing with Sissy. I think she act like she don't be listening to Alton or whatever when he be talking. But I think that she take it in and then she go to Franklin with it, like, yo, when we gonna when we gonna get out, you know yeah. what I'm saying? The same thing Franklin did. He went to read, was like, yo, how long is this gonna take? You know what I'm saying? So I think they listening, but in the moment, they act like they ain't listening. Yeah. I th I think it's a progression because you know in the beginning. They didn't take Alton serious because they never thought he was gonna ever come back right. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's kinda like when he talking before, like when he first started coming back around, mm -hmm. both of them kind of just they get the fuck out of my face. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? How yeah. the fuck would you know? But yeah. now that he's kind of he's clean, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? He got a stable source of income from the VA as well as the shelter. He's running the shelter. Mm -hmm. Now your point is a little more valid because you I could tell it coming from a sober mind and sober thought. You know what I'm saying? So I think it just took a time from uh, them realizing, okay, this ain't the alcohol talking. Yeah. You know what I mean Or he ain't trying to get a dollar So he go get a drink Like he really concerned yeah. Like the, the scene where he told Franklin Man st stay home and watch movies with me We pop yeah. some corn mm -hmm. Yeah You know what I'm saying Pop some corn Yeah like, like that, some that, corn. that caught Franklin by, by surprise mm -hmm. Even yeah. though he didn't listen and stay You could tell yeah. that shit hit him yeah. And he was about to cry too Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying I think I think that uh, Alton just had to He, he had to earn that yeah. mm -hmm. Cause he been gone You know what I'm saying Like you said He been out on the streets And all of that You know what I'm saying He wasn't sober so when you yeah. come back and you leave your family like that, you know right. what I'm saying? You can't expect to get the same respect. Just like what he told dude. Mm -hmm. That um dude at right well, the shelter. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah he said oh, you're going to lose, you going to mess around and lose your family. He know that cuz he done yeah, been through that. You going to yep. regret that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. he don't want nothing. He yeah. probably the only one around that don't want nothing. Mm -hmm. But his family. Mm -hmm. That's it. That yeah, that's it. That's all he want. He don't want nothing. Yeah, cause he he didn't lost it, yeah. and he got it back. But you know, you see all the time he uh he always want to spend that time. Come on mm -hmm. and eat with me. Yeah, you know switch the whole thing. Yeah, when she got hyped. Yep, he did. On, come yep. on, eat with you me. know what? You you you's a mother. You you a black mother. You yeah. know what? 
I understand. Hey, yeah, I understand. Ain't nothing good gonna come out of me and you fussing together. Mm-hmm. Eat with me. Mm-hmm. And you see her whole her whole, whole tone change. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That was a good one. That yeah. was a good one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, hey, what, what 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 them writers' names is? The what? Them writers that you said uh last week. Them names that, that the writers. Oh, the writer. Oh, shit. It's uh, something Spanish. Uh, I forgot to mention the writer today. Uh, uh, Haram Martinez. Haram Martinez. I forgot to say that today. Yeah, he, he, okay. did he, he, he did a good job. He did a he good did job. He did a good job with that. Um, then we go back to the hospital and we see Wanda. She fighting with the nurses. Um, and and Lee, Leon there. You know what I'm saying? He calmed her down. He was like, mm-hmm. yeah, they, you know what I'm saying? They ain't trying to kill you. They trying to give you something to get that shit out the system. Yeah. Right. Um, and he basically tell like if you get kicked out of this if you get yourself kicked out of the hospital because she was like you try, they trying to kill me whatever he was like yeah. you know they ain't trying to kill you you just trying to do whatever you can to get out of here so you can get back on the street and get some more dope yeah um, is that what he said yeah basically yeah. what he said I, I thought he said so you talking about the part where he said if you get kicked out I'm I don't want nothing to do with you well he said yeah. he said what I said he said that and then right after that yeah. he said if you get kick, if you get yourself kicked out. I, ain't, I don't want nothing else to See, do I, with you. That's not what I thought he said. He said if you if you get yourself bounced up out of here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's and, what that's and see, that's another time I was trying to listen and, and couldn't understand. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought he said once you get yourself together, yeah. I don't the want first, nothing to do with you. The first yeah. time I watched it, that's what I thought he said. Uh, I thought he said it the first time. I, but I, then, I might need to buy a new motherfucking TV or some <laughs> sign or something. But, but then when I listened to when I watched it again, because he said all of that in one in one sentence. Like he said it real quick talk, all together. Talking fast like me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he said it all together. Then I realized because I was like, "Why? When she get out, why would you? How would that motivate her to stay? If if she get out, you ain't gonna have nothing to do with her." That's yeah. what I thought he said. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what I thought too. Get yourself bounced, yeah. bounced up out of here. Uh, yeah, but he also gave her hope. Yep, he gave her hope. Yep. And he told he's like this, this your second chance yeah, your mm-hmm. second So that's why the shit threw me off Cause like why are you gonna tell her This your second chance yeah. And then trying to say Once you get your shit together I don't want nothing to do with you And then she shook her head Like yeah I'm like These oh, bitches yeah. retarded Yeah he, see, he <laughs> said he, <laughs> he, he said He should have put a little pause in there I said it a different kind of way But yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay yeah. I, Okay yo um, Clear that up for me I appreciate you Oh yeah that's what we're here for And it's probably some old listeners That thought like that too Who only uh, watched it one time You know what I'm saying Shit I watched it five Yeah Yeah boy y'all hit me with something that I'll tell y'all the end. Y'all hit me with something that I did not know. Okay. Yeah. 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 Say that. I want to hear what this is. Don't forget either. Um. And then she asked him to stay the night. And this let you know he really care about her. Yeah. She was like, "Let stay the night." She was like, "Ain't nobody else coming." Yeah. Because at first he's like, "I got shit to do." Yeah. And then she said that he sat on down. And I, and I bet you he hate, he hate the fact that he love her. I, I don't know if he, he hate it. Because if he did hate it, he wouldn't be there. No, oh, but but love, love conquers hate. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So he he hate that he can't be out right now trying to handle the situation. He hate that his friends got to see him so in touch with a with a smoker. You know what I'm saying? But he loves her. But you know the only person on the whole show who really kind of mess with him with that is Man Boy. It wasn't. Well, it was Man Boy, but it's the other dude too. What other dude? Remember his right hand man? That remember when, the, when they first went there, she was sucking his dick the very first time they went over there. Oh, Man Boy, right hand man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is he, he's still alive. I is that the that, one What you call it That, that, that got, got put killed. on the cross Yep Good He deserve it um, <laughs> Ha He ain't did nothing wrong uh, he, was messing, he was wrong He, he was, wasn't wrong He was messing with um, He was messing with um Lee And I don't like that Oh you don't like that Oh yeah. I, I, I thought you was making About a female Okay no, hey, man. He was messing with Lee I don't like that He was disrespectful You don't hey. disrespect You know what I'm saying it's a- <laughs> Most of the time It is by a female man. Oh yeah, yeah I know oh, yeah. Like, That ain't his fault <laughs> He ain't rape him uh, <laughs> nah, he did well. She was under the influence. She was she was doing the alphabet. Yeah, that's what they say now. Uh, um, so then we see Franklin. He you don't smell like that, right? No, nah, I don't. Oh no, I thought I, I thought you were talking about the last episode. No, uh, uh-uh. I don't know her. I don't know me what she look like. Me neither. I, I'm too young. I just heard stories. I heard stories. Y'all know a lot of people about a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he probably know what she look like. I, oh yeah, he probably do that. You from the east, ain't? Right? Yeah, he probably yeah, know he what she probably, look like. No, she used to be on the west. She's been to East too. She did. Yeah, she's been with them like first, second, third. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, from what I heard, now, I you know I was, I was yeah. I'm on the, I'm, I was, I heard I was, it on the internet. I didn't hear it on the internet. Yeah. I just you know heard some old drunk yeah. men talking. Yeah. Y'all got a hell of a internet. Yeah, I internet <laughs> nasty boy. I'm telling you, boy, we got a good uh, internet. Yeah, boy. Um, Franklin meets with uh Jerome, Lurt, Louis. Yeah. Um, he tell him he want to expand. Um, mm-hmm. Jerome, he ain't with it. Yeah. I'm trying to get back to my shop. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm saying and I, saying I, I think Jerome people. kind of traumatized from that shooting. He is, he is, but he, he can't get to his shop because man, because everybody in the city that, know that way. Yeah, so they're yeah. gonna shoot that up. That's gonna be yeah. the first place they look. Yeah. Um, and Louis, she she suggests Little Rock. 
Um, mm-hmm. cause she knows somebody that lived there. Right. But you know, you know that the um, that's a pivoted point too. Mm-hmm. Because when he said, when you look at it, right? Now mm-hmm. they say Little Rock, mm-hmm. but that's the time in L.A. when you know you got it, everything there, mm-hmm. which I got off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> but it costs more everywhere else. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because so, so you know, you, could, could, you know, Franklin even said it's already in New York. Uh-huh. It's already mm-hmm. in Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So that's when they was going places like. Seattle, mm-hmm. Arizona, right? Little Rock. Uh-huh. You, you remember banging in Little Rock? Yeah, I was just about to say that. I, I was, I was thinking that shit the whole ride down here. Yeah. I was like, gang banging in Little Rock. Yeah, Little Rock. yeah okay. and that was yeah. that's all Bloods, right? But, but mainly about the Bloods, right? Yeah. But I think we, then it was Blood. It was Bloods it was Disciples down there. Oh, because they had Bloods, um, the GD Crips, Vice and Lord. Disciples. But back then, you know, you can go anywhere, everywhere. To little towns don't even got street named named Hoover, mm-hmm. but and they got had Hoover Crips. Crips there. Yeah. yeah, this is like uh, Davies is a, is a is a Harlem Crip, but yeah. they got a Harlem Street in, mm-hmm. in I guess in the yeah, sixties neighborhood. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. But if you ever watch that show uh, that I asked you about on episode one, which I can't think of the name of it, but it's about those four people that they claim was like the, the money behind a lot of rappers, which was uh. Haitian oh yeah, hip hop. Yeah, I watched yeah. that. Yeah. So if you watch one one of the scenes with, with Big U, Big U, yeah, Big U was saying like uh, him and his people started flying to Minnesota. Yeah, yeah, the sale, the sale. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like you said, and all that goes back to to that mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. that that one guy. Mm-hmm. It's crazy that one guy. That one guy. He had because you know when when they your your plug, you the whole United States. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. and that and it. it it kind of like tie in like real life, like you say. All three of us, when when they when they bought up Little Rock, the first thing we thought about was gang banging in Little, Little Rock, Rock. and you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. People always ask like, like you said, how how you get um, Bloods and Crips in New York when they start out in LA? How you get Bloods and Crips in Minnesota and this yeah, place right. and that place? That how it do. Them boys want to spread yeah. out of cell, you know what yeah, I'm saying? And, and and just from more research I did on the internet, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> once once you start flying places. After so much time You'd be like Man I'm tired of fucking flying that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying And I'm, I'm flying back home To all this violence My homies getting mm-hmm. killed or Getting locked up I could go to Little Rock Or Minnesota Or I, I got a bad Spanish bitch in, in Harlem mm-hmm. I'm gonna just get me A spot out here mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying And then you yeah. know Somebody go ask you Bro why, you, why I was all that red Oh yeah I'm a, I'm a pyro I'm a blood Or whatever but It's like man what's that yep. and, and then like Shit nigga you wanna be one But <laughs> then they see Then they see it on, on In like the videos And stuff too I'm talking about even before the video. I'm just talking about like oh, yeah, probably yeah, back, yeah. back then when they were like venturing out. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, yeah. That that's how they end up getting entrenched because between going out there and selling the rock and just staying and just start having casual conversation like we're doing right yeah. now about why you wearing red, why you wearing blue. But they're still seeing the movies like colors and shit like that too. Yeah. Colors came out what year? 82 80, yeah. 80, 80 something between that. I ain't yeah, want to say 82. Right. So I'm gonna Google that yeah. shit. Yeah, and then you got them out too. A lot of niggas get locked up and, and get sent. To them, them prisons in Little Rock, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? New York, Rikers and all them places. Hey, bro, you, you know what I'm saying? Why you out of these colors? And I'm saying, now nah, you like shit, bro. You want to be one? Now, n- niggas love to be a part of something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, colors came out in 88. So this was but before it, colors. Yeah. So. Thank but, you, um, but you know, the crazy thing is the same mentality that they took from LA, they took it to like but Little Rock. Mm-hmm. But, but that's what I'm saying. You, oh, you, you, bodies so, dropping a little rock like that was in LA. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So if you look at uh, is an interview they did. With the, I've got the guy's name, but basically, you know, it's been a big little stir up behind um, Faison Love calling Davies a fake crip. Uh huh. So it, it's a crip from the '60s. Uh, I forgot his name. I just saw the interview last week, and he's basically saying like people in other places try to try to downplay game banking in other places. You can't do that because it's authentic niggas that went to those places to start that up. started that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I could be an authentic nigga and you could be an authentic nigga, but just because you authentic and I'm authentic don't mean your best friend ain't authentic or is mm-hmm. authentic. You know what I'm saying? But for in order for that place to go there, that means somebody, he's talking about Davey's been to Harlem or Harlem Crip. Somebody from the Harlem Crips in LA yeah. we used to go to New York every summer because they had family there. It was two brothers And mm-hmm. they go every summer You know what I'm saying When they go over there They talking how they talking So you in New York And you got an LA dude You know talking how they talk Walking how they walk mm-hmm. That intrigued them You know what I'm saying Like yeah man we in Harlem But we got a street in Harlem Out of LA well, What y'all call it? Harlem Crips So now you, now you got niggas in Harlem Shit we mm-hmm. from Harlem Shit we Harlem Crips You know what I'm saying So that's what makes it authentic yeah. You know what I'm saying Now 30 years later I can't say if it's still authentic Like that But you know That's, how, that's it how it started But you figure like was New York was never known for following Mm-hmm. Right, they were trendsetters, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, according now, to them motherfuckers, they started everything. <laughs> Basketball, rap, yeah. R&B, porno. But, <laughs> but getting back to what you was talking about, those two dudes that went out to L.A., was they put on in L.A.? Or they just came? No, 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 no. The, the, no, the, the, the two brothers was from L.A. From and, LA. And, was, and was going okay. to Harlem every summer. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So they were, they, they were authentic from L.A., Harlem Crips. 
You know what I'm saying? But even a lot of people don't know. Everybody, you know, the GD Vice Lord movement started in Chicago, but mm-hmm. whenever, you know, slavery and all that ended, a lot of those people that migrated up to Chicago came from, from the south, mi- from the south yeah. Memphis, Georgia, right. Arkansas. So it's a stronghold of GD and Vice Lord all down the Midwest because that's the pipeline. That's where they're from. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it might have started in Chicago, but if I got family down in South Carolina, I go see, or if I got family down in Alabama, you know what I'm saying? Or if I get locked up and, sent, and put in prison and they send me out to motherfucking Charlotte, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. It, it ain't nothing for me to, to get three, four dudes and be like, hey, blah, 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 and then get online and and, and look up hand signs and and, mm-hmm. and and everything else. You know what I'm saying? Because who, who are you to tell me I ain't telling you the truth? It's a lot of GDs in the South. It's facts. Yeah. yeah. But if you know something and you that is, see what you got to you, you start tell asking questions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you start asking questions. Mm-hmm. But guess what? I can answer every question you, that you ask me because you don't know if I'm telling you the truth or not. It's only when somebody else that's from that place. Get around and you yeah. ask the same questions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I dealt with that a lot in the military. You man, you think everybody was a thousand yard running back and a fifteen hundred <laughs> point score in basketball, mm-hmm. and yeah, and then bro. then you meet somebody from their city. They're like, nah. yeah, bro, hey, bro, bro, told me he, he ran for a thousand. Who <laughs> man, that motherfucker played JV. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. so yep. that's how that shit. That's how that shit expand. Though. Just like the crack, you know, what I'm saying you get people that go places and they just stay. Mm-hmm. They just stay. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Um, so after they have that meeting, uh, we we back at the PI's office. And uh, he gives Leon and Fatback uh, three locations that um, Scully or Terrence, Terrence. we learned. Terrence. Terrence, Terrence had a real good marriage. <laughs> <laughs> um, three locations that he frequent, um, including his grandma's house. He said that was the only place that he went to multiple times. So he took a bag in, but he didn't bring a bag out. Mm-hmm. Um, and so Leon and Fatback start talking. He's like, yeah, that's probably where he keep his money at. Um, and that's when the PI was like, you know what I'm saying? This sounds like a private conversation. Uh, y'all boys might want to talk about this outside. Right. So they leave. Um, then we're at Alton Shelter, and we kind of talked about this a little earlier. Um, one of the crackheads, he um, was getting confronted by his son, uh, Dwayne, and um, basically he sold his baby's diaper money, uh, diapers, for some crack. Um, mm-hmm. He was in their high. Right. Um, son was uh, pissed off or whatever, so Al- Alton breaks it up, tells him, "Yeah, go on ahead and over there and get you some of that orange chicken you like." Um, <laughs> and, um, and that's when he said, like we said earlier, he tell him, "You basically gonna you lose your kids if you keep on." Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying getting high because it, didn't the mother already run out? From, from yeah, she left. Out? Yeah, she mm-hmm. was the reason why they came in yeah, there because she right. left earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, he basically tell him to get his shit together. Um, and that's when we see Irene, and she in there trying to talk to Alton, that but he see right through her. Uh, he, he what he told her. Uh, he said, "How do you know a reporter's? Um, How do you know a reporter is lying because her lips are moving?" Yeah, yeah. He basically like, "Don't come around here no more." Yeah, Cause he came back with about your wife. Yeah, she came at him wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah he said, yeah, she, she, I, she, "I haven't put my band back on. Mm-hmm. I never said nothing yeah, about he, my he wife." He said, "I never mentioned my wife, and I haven't worn my band since I sobered up." Mm-hmm. So, oh, I, re- I I looked you up. You seen like an interest? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, trying talking about you trying to write a story. Nope. We he he know this about. He's sober. He's sober. Sober. Hey, what, what, what Jay Z say? I see it right through you, Judas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. So then we see uh, Lerp, and he's dropping off uh, uh Franklin. Mm-hmm. And um, his, basically his PTSD kicking in. Well, nope, not even that. He was just basically no, that's, like, that's really what it is. No, he said he he said he was he thought he could do it, but he he, he couldn't deal with all his blood shit. Blood. His his own people killing them. He said yeah, he that, said being yeah. in the war was different. Yeah, you know what I'm but saying. That's, the, that's still part of PTSD though. That that's that's still something that that he sees. You know what I'm saying. That that brought back memories, like to see bloodshed from his people in the streets. That's saying, that's something he saw. It, it's stressing them out. PTSD is it, stress from a, a well, triggering factor. Well, I I took it as him not wanting it. Like you know, he could be his his um his uh, bodyguard or whatever, but him to go to war and be killing up his own people as opposed to some people well, he, he, over he, he felt like that when they tried to set Scully up. He was with it then. He yeah. was, but, but he, he told you, he said, um, sometimes you got to draw the line. Mm-hmm. And he said, this is where he draw, draw his. Line. Yeah. Because I, he doubled his money. Yeah. yeah. That's it, when the shit kicked in. It reminded me of, um, uh, uh, you know, we make references to other shows, but it reminded me of The Wire. Uh, one character, Omar, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, where well, Omar basically told him, like, a man got to have a cold. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um it reminded me of uh Cuddy off the wire too. When uh they they were starting the war with Marlo. Yeah. And Cuddy um basically went in there and was like, Yeah, it ain't in me no more. Like that thing I used to like it ain't in me no more. So it ain't it it, it was I don't think like he said, he he you know what I'm saying, he in the war, he ain't no street shooter, you know what I'm saying? He he'll do it for the military, but I don't think he you know what I'm saying. 
And like you say, it could be P- the PTSD and all of that too. I mean, it, it could be him personally. I really think PTSD got part to do with it. But like you said, he see the damage it doing. Because mm-hmm. I, I I take it back to um, Godfather Harlem. You know what I'm saying? His right hand man came back from the Korean War, mm-hmm. and he still was with everything. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's probably a mix of the PTSD and him personally. Yeah, I think they try like a lot of times, like you say in Godfather Harlem, they try to make like the military people. Be so cutthroat Like they can do it They can If you kill her You'll kill anywhere Right But I think this You know what I'm saying Basically set Lerbo apart Like make him say Like he got a cold Or you know he Like it, like he said uh, You gotta draw the line somewhere Right yeah, So um, it kinda which, Go ahead No I was gonna say It, it, it kinda get make him um, Make him more human yeah. Than some of the other people But you Not just The bodies that they laid down But in LA at that time Do you know how many people Was getting killed Oh yeah Yeah, yeah. There was a murder capital Back then mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They were running in people's houses with tanks with bull rams on the front. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They, yeah. They said it. I was watching uh, Cocaine Cowboys a couple of days ago. I was watching it again, yeah. and um, they they basically had to like militarize the um, the police because right. of how how bad it was getting and stuff with the killing and stuff. Um, and it wasn't all because of black people. Yeah, but it, it's because they had more powerful weapons in the police force. Yeah. Like like all those ARs, those AKs. You know, police came with, you know, the... the, the revolvers. The revolvers and the government issue, forty caliber mm-hmm. and a bulletproof vest. But you're going to, to, to go take down a random uh, traffic stop and the motherfucker got a Uzi, a fucking M16, <laughs> a grenade. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, they wasn't equipped for that. That's why they had a militarizer. Mm-hmm. They wasn't equipped for that. Yeah. But where they get it from? It's from us. Reed. Yeah, but us. yeah, they had to get it from Reed. Yeah, yeah us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got it from Actually, I I kind of thought when they when they was missing them guns, I thought those was the guns that um, Franklin gave to Scully and them. You oh, that? Well, well, you know he he never Scully never got the guns. That was just to set up to get them to the warehouse. Yeah, that is. So oh, yeah. so only gun he got was that big that, that big, big one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that that was the bait. Mm-hmm. That was the bait. Yeah. So then we go to Irene's crib and she uh, walks in the house and Marino in her house. Don't don't run, don't scream, don't scream. Yeah, yeah he real. He go, them government people, boy, they'll find out about you. Yeah. Oh yeah, you, you cause you got that. You don't call my mama, my yep. sisters. Yeah, you know what I'm saying they gonna yeah. tell me. Nah, I didn't even know he still had the connections to find out. You know where she lived at, but he knew a whole. Well, back he might then. he might still still work there. Like when you calling and you, you calling the gov. Like if you call my job, you asking me. They might not let you know who I am. He worked for the government. No, we don't know where he is and all kind of stuff like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? So they probably look out for each other. Especially he like a. He a field agent seem like like he be yeah, out in the streets, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Oh, he still got a friend there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that too, yeah. Yeah. Um, and he been at he been at her crib so long, he that he didn't look through her notes. Right. Yeah. Look through all. He was like, yeah, you might might want to keep this offsite. Yeah, put it at an offsite yeah. secure location. Yeah. Um, and he know her whole story. Knows that she um estranged from her husband. Mm-hmm. Know that um it was some story she wrote that got her got her, uh, fired or something mm-hmm. for uh, from another newspaper. Mm-hmm. Um. Know that her daughter the, um, graduated college and don't really mess with her. Like he know the whole the thing, whole backstory. Yeah, and you know that was saying? a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so he basically gave her all of his files, um, and he asked her like, because she was like, "Well, who 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 is um, behind all of this? Or whatever." He was like, "Well, who you think got the power to, to uh, derail a, a DEA investigation mm-hmm. and dissolve the murder charges when the key witness is a, a federal agent?" Um, and she was like Ronald Reagan. He was like, "Yeah, you close." Yeah. So you know, what I'm saying somebody high up. Um, but he gave her the files. He like basically, you got to prove it. You know, what I'm saying she was like, "Well, you know, I just need something from you." He was like, "Nah, I'm not gonna. I'm yeah. gonna walk you through yeah, it." Because she was like, "I get it published." So she was thinking he was just giving her the story to publish. He was mm-hmm. like, "Nah, I don't want you to publish it. I want you to prove this shit to be right." Yeah, mm-hmm. She wanted him to go on record. And he was like, "Nah, yeah, nah, yeah, he no, ain't nah, doing nah, that." Now nah, you gonna die? Now you, you trying to get me killed? Yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah. You, if you want to die behind this shit, you go right in. <laughs> but you ain't about to get me killed. Hey, what do you say? You got an hour of my time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah. an hour. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. walk you through it. But everybody keep telling them, man, it's as far as I'm gonna go. Yeah, yeah. She keep going because, like, being in the military, everybody know. Something It's always gonna be Something above your pay grade mm-hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying Hey what time we get off today uh, If we normally go off at 5 Why we stay until 7 today They gonna say man Hey that's about my pay grade You gotta ask so and so And that's why they tell her Hey this is where it stopped for me Like what you just said Everybody, mm-hmm. everybody gotta draw that line That's where it stopped for me And that would, that would get A lot of people killed They go a little bit too far A little yeah. bit too far A little, yeah. little too far yeah. Go you home. ask too many questions. Shit, whatever they were, the born identity, the born supremacy, the born. <laughs> 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 you want to find some shit out? Go ahead. You're gonna yeah, get your kill. Yeah, right. Curiosity. Kill, kill the, the fucking cat. cat. Yeah. Um. Then we go into the final scene. Um. We see uh fat back Leon. Now I thought Ooh. that was CJ sitting in the front seat driving. It was. 
It was CJ. The other, the other light skin, but I was talking. I was in the back. Seat. He was in the, the back seat. Side. Yeah. So um, CJ did. Yeah. That, that that's that's the you one. You sure that CJ? Yeah, that's when Fatback pull out the car. <sighs> I hope I was hoping it wasn't CJ. It was him. Ooh. Yeah, and, and of course you know social media spoils it. So I, I saw I saw a little RIP post to him before I even. Oh, saw him, so. okay, okay. Um, so. Now for me, when I saw Poppy uh, walking down the street with the uh, shaved ice thing or whatever, yeah. I thought he was a hit man. If, if, if this had been some cartel shit, I, I would have saw okay. it. Okay, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. That would have been like some cartel, Sinaloa, uh, all the Cali cartel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would have been yeah. something like that. Yeah, but being it was Black Beef. Yeah, I, I you know didn't know. But, I, I, but see, you don't know Scully Reach. Yeah, but, but he's, he's still black. You know, back then Mexicans and blacks weren't fucking with each other. Yeah, uh, yeah, true. But still, um, I think they they kept the camera on him because he was the reason that the other car stopped. stopped yeah. <sighs> okay, because I was because I knew they were not at yeah. a stop sign. A stop sign. Yeah, he, or red light. He tried to cross with the car, and, and you notice they slammed on brakes. They slammed on brakes. They yeah. did. Okay, I was like, I was like, that's bad editing. Like, I know that's not a stop sign. They're in the middle of the block. Yeah, and I was wondering why when I seen that too. I'm saying, why they park right there? Yeah. Okay. That was a stop sign. Why because, they park okay. right there? Because they they was scouting out the grandma house. Yeah. But but that may, okay. I, I'm saying what kills me is her. Uh, so you know the, the, when you see the shooter pop off, they shooting side by side, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Poppy walk across the front and he still Pop, get shot. Poppy had nine holes in him, man. Yeah, Poppy was <laughs> shot up. He was Swiss cheese. Yeah, <laughs> all, all the shots exchanged with yeah. car to car, and Poppy is in the front of both of them, and the oh. bucket go rolling, and yeah. Poppy Swiss cheese. Poppy cheese. did, man. Maybe Poppy was coming around the corner, man. Nah, man, they, they, yeah. they, they over they over dramatized the fuck out of that one. So that's a good one. They have the shootout. Mm-hmm. Leon gets out, shoots mm-hmm. up the car with an Uzi. Yep. Then he sees a little girl that shot in the back, and it was a. He went to go shoot some more. He was, yeah. yeah. He was gonna he kill. He did everybody. shoot some more. He did. Yeah, no, he, he shot. He dumped the Uzi, mm-hmm. and then threw he the Uzi the on the car, then he, and then he pulled out a yeah, handgun. Yeah, he was gonna finish everybody off in that car. No witnesses. Yeah. But then he mm-hmm. noticed it was a girl in the back holding the baby. Mm-hmm. Do y'all know who that little girl was? That's Scully, Scully's Scully. daughter. The Scully daughter. I thought yeah, it was Scully girlfriend and his daughter. And his daughter. Back it there. is. It is with and man boy sister. Man boy sister and man boy niece. Mm-hmm. So now Leon got Ooh, Scully, Scully and, and Man Boy, Boy coming after him. Do you mm-hmm. think um, Leon knew that? No, he did. Well, I don't think he knew that. But do you see his face when he got back in the car? But I think he was just shook that he killed yeah, the little he girl. Killed the kid because you know he he's never met the little girl. He he knows that Man Boy, uh, that Scully is Man Boy's sister, baby daddy. Uh, but I don't mm-hmm. think he's I don't think he's never met the girl. You know, Leon just did that first introduction. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying and that was that. I don't think he actually knows what the little girl looked like, or maybe even the the, the woman. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying I, I think his whole remorse was just from I killed, I shot a kid. Yeah, yeah. I killed a kid. You know what I'm saying? And Franklin thought, knows because he was at the um, church. Oh yeah, Franklin definitely. Franklin know, yeah. but see, he don't, he don't know yet. That, well, I mean, I, but I mean, he know that the um, who the girl is. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Which, and I thought that that look on his face was like, um, man, Scully wasn't in the I, car. I, I done fucked up now. Yeah. Scully wasn't in there. Mm-hmm. But but he but he, he knew because you remember yeah. before he started shooting, he was like, there go Scully people right there. Yeah. So he he knew Scully wasn't in the car, but he knew them was the niggas that be with him. You yeah. know what I need him to do. Because this go back to the wire season four with Naaman and he had the long hair. Mm-hmm. Scott, I mean, um, Leon need to braid that shit up, man. That big ass fro. I'll put it back in the ponytail. <laughs> yeah, everybody, like everybody know him because he got that big fro, man. Because you remember when he's in the, in the very beginning when they was at the store, he's like, man, that, I told that nigga right here, look, and he saw that fro, he said, that is that nigga. Yeah, you know, what I'm he saying? need like, to braid that. But, man. but you know what? As far as the show purposes go, that's his <laughs> trademark. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying anybody, if you if you was gonna. Try to explain the show to anybody and they never seen it. And you say Leon, they be like, which one Leon? And you first thing you're gonna say, the one with the fro. Yeah. That's his trademark for the show. Yeah, I mean, that's cool and all, but like <laughs> in the streets, and you and you doing what he doing, and you got people after you, you got like, I got a bald head. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm wear a skull cap or something. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I used to have the big beard or something. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna cut my beard down so people won't recognize me like right off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna do something like that. Like, yeah. You got. But- <laughs> and and you know something else I thought about that motherfucking car them, that Leon and Fatback be driving and got shot up a whole lot of motherfucking times man it done been in some stuff in some shit now <laughs> cause it got yeah. shot up in the very beginning of the episode they did yeah <laughs> and then they shot up again and the mother was smoking when he crunked the motherfucker to drive off yeah, oh yeah that, <laughs> now, it, yeah it's done now it's done now um so that was the most talked about scene that I saw with the, with 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 them killing that little girl um I know the mama named Khadijah yeah. Yeah, um, Khadija, yeah. I don't that's know the, the I don't know the little girl name, but you know. Um, but yeah, that that's a good point you made. I, I really didn't think about that point to just now. But Leon might well not even Leon because you know they 
they tie Leon and Franklin together. Mm-hmm. So not only Leon, but Franklin now really going. So Man Boy was playing the scene, playing it back, playing the sideline, letting yeah. Scully and, and, and uh, Franklin take each other out. Yep. But now, now, they now, now you don't kill my niece. Mm-hmm. Now you don't kill my daughter. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying now they don't tell type tell them what type of alliance. Now I really it, they no. might not even. They ain't gonna lie. That, I thought that at first. No, yeah, right. I, I, I just think I, by alliance, I, I kind of mean they kind of might go at them at, for the same reason. I ain't saying they gonna go together. Okay, but yeah, the same right. reason. Yeah, I think it's just it's it, it gonna be bad in the streets. Uh, be but bad does, in the streets. Does uh, man boy and his sister get along? You don't speak to no more because of this dude. That's still your sister. But you don't speak to me no more because of this dude. That's, that's still my sister and my, my my niece ain't got nothing to do uh, with that. Yeah, I I don't know if they get along or not. They, but they might not don't. No, but you gotta think about it. They wasn't always beefing. They probably they probably just now stopped talking because she had to pick a side. But at the end of the day, the little girl ain't had nothing to do with it. Man, boy, could have been wrong though. Because hmm? the didn't man boy go after him first? That's what Scully said. Yeah. But, but but the point I'm making is up until that point, they were cool. Can you remember they he introduced um, Leon and Franklin mm-hmm. to them, so they, at a yeah. point they were cool. Yeah. So yeah, that yeah. means just recently they may have stopped talking for In whatever the last reason. Four or five months. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. We, we know homeboys that sit there and, and fall out behind a girl or for whatever reason and, and, and fight and then be cool the next week. You know what I'm saying? Not saying it's going to be that type of situation. The point I'm making is the, the common denominator they both have is that little girl. Yeah, yeah. We about to see. Yeah, we about oh, to see. Oh, it's about to get ugly. It's yeah, about to, it get about ugly. to be a whole lot of... It'll it be a whole lot of slow lot of singing dead. and mm-hmm. flower bringing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, um, before we get out of here, y'all, uh, I ask y'all, what was y'all favorite scene of this episode? Um, I'll go first while y'all think about it. My favorite scene was the scene with uh Franklin and his mama. Um just mainly because of the the, the like the good acting. Mm-hmm. Like them two people, they can act. You right. know what I'm saying? And the way they was going back and forth, like it was like a real conversation. Even like when um when Franklin was like, um, he was like, you know, he was talking about racism and um this what the fuck, whatever, whatever. Right. And she was like, calm down. And he yeah. calmed right down. He's like, I am calm, mama, but so and so and so. You know what I'm saying? They was just acting real good. I like, I like, I like, you know what I'm saying, the dialogue part in, in that scene. That was my favorite scene because of the acting. I was gonna say the one with uh Alton and, and Sissy too. Yeah, because those two people they can act, you know what I'm saying, too. But I, I like that uh, the one with Franklin and his mama. They always have good good scenes together as far as talking and shit. I'll I'll agree with you on that one. Um but only because I think both of us being all three of us being men, I'm pretty sure at some point in time we we had a conversation with our mom like that for whatever reason it may have been, whether mm-hmm. it's to get your shit right in school, mm-hmm. um, come home when I tell you to, mm-hmm. or something just as small as like I just want to make sure you got home safe. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure we all had a conversation with our mom at some point the way we thought we was doing what we thought she wanted, mm-hmm. and it wasn't because she had a she saw the bigger picture because she was older than us. She done been there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we thinking we. we in our teens Growing up We grown We men You know what I'm saying Mom I did this I did that That ain't what she wanted so I, That's why That was my favorite scene Cause I feel like As a man Who was once a boy As we all were That scene was relatable mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying Can't none of, All of us might I can't relate to being a kingpin mm-hmm. But we can all relate To having a conversation With our mom with, with it, Our mom had that look To be like I'm really hurting her mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. Yeah What about you What's your favorite scene Of the episode It's with him And his um, bodyguard Oh and him alert Hurt. Yeah, hurt told you I can't go on no more. Uh huh. He, he was hurt too. Yeah, he was. He got out? And he was scared. Yeah, because yeah. you got regular peaches down. Mm-hmm. Manpower was down. Aunt scared. Now nah, you didn't let you didn't let the veteran go. Yeah, the veteran yeah. said he gonna go. And he was calling him yeah. sir the whole time. Sir too. the whole yeah. You know it hurt him the the, the, the bell, but he's just like I can't do it. Yeah, he couldn't look at him. Yeah, but I I, he, I respect it though. Yeah, yeah he couldn't yeah. look at him. Yeah. I, re- yeah, I respect him for letting him know up front I can't go no more because mm-hmm. he could have left him in a bad spot with uh-huh. some shit popped off and he, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? I, I respect Franklin because he didn't want to let him go. Yeah, you know, he tried everything. Yeah, he, tried he did. Everything. He I gave him more money. But then when you look at it, right? Mm-hmm. Nah, you don't let somebody real close to you go. Right, nah, somebody being with every day. Now nah, you don't know if he want to go or is he going to somebody else to come back and get you? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we look at it too, and and uh, a way lurk. Could look at it is is this man gonna have me killed now? Cause I know too much. But see, he know he know the he know the other part. He know he ain't no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you yeah. say it, say it. Uh, yeah, you know he ain't really no killer. Yeah, and he ain't did nothing to him. But yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. but sometimes people, sometimes they call it time lose ends. Yeah, but I, I don't think he'll kill dude. Nah, nah. But but uh, alert being military, that might yeah. be a thought he have. But one thing about Franklin though, Franklin think everything got to do with money. 
The first yeah. thing somebody say something that you know try he try to always get people with money. Yeah. A lot of times it ain't money. Sometimes for, for some people it principle. Right. Yeah. And sometimes it, everybody like if you if if I know a person I know they don't got no kind of cold. You know what I'm saying? I can't deal with nobody like that. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta have some kind of morals or something. Yeah. Even like even people that hustle and, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I like. You you just you gotta handle stuff a certain way, and if you don't, I, I can't I can't really deal with people like that. So he got his own code about him or whatever. He ain't gonna just do anything. And some people they think money, money is everything. Yeah, and money money ain't everything. You know what I'm saying? Um, sometimes you know peace of mind, and it's his peace of mind to not be able to do not have to do that type of stuff. And I ain't know that wasn't his car. Oh, that wasn't Franklin car. <laughs> yeah, that was Lurk car. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was Lurk car. Lurk putting this. It's calm. He His put everything car. on. He everything. put everything on the mm-hmm. line, Franklin. Mm-hmm. Um, who do y'all think won the episode? Who came out on top? Um, so last episode, I said a reporter won. Mm-hmm. I said a reporter won again. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I only say that because now, for Marino, she has like concrete evidence mm-hmm. and information that kind of gives her even more than what she already had. Mm. So you know, you know, uh, before she got all that information from Mel. And mm-hmm. then she got information from the other uh, the other cop that used to work with Andre, but now it is coming from a CI, well FBI. No CI, no, no, he, no, said no he was CIA. FBI. He was FBI. Yeah, a DEA, a DEA. He, he was DEA. DEA. He yeah, was DEA. DEA. You know what I'm saying? So, and you know, he not only did he go through her work, but remember he handed her a thick ass file. That she yeah, yeah. So the reason why I say she won is because we all know what her motive is. Yeah, she getting closer, and she getting closer to her motive. Yeah, because you know he saying? told her, he told her he was like, you think it's about Franklin Saint. Yeah, you whatever, whatever. Saying, you think it's about um, Thomas Reed, uh, Reed Thompson? Yeah, it ain't. You know it what I'm saying? So she really don't need that story from Alton no more. Nah, nah. That, that would just her just poking the bell. Yeah, you know what I mean? it's yeah. going away. It's going away from Franklin. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's bigger than that. It's yeah. bigger than Nino Brown, baby. Maybe Nino Brown, baby. It's Nino <laughs> Browns all across the world. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I think she won, man, because she. I mean, every episode she's getting closer and closer and closer. Yeah. I, she she's she probably gonna win a whole lot of episodes. So I'm gonna say somebody else who I think won the that episode. Fucking Angela Valdez. <laughs> that's, why, um, that's why I like her. That's why I look at her that like Angela. Yeah, she a little bit. She worse than Angela though, because at least Angela was like she worked in law enforcement or something like that. Old girl just a reporter. She, but that, just, that's a reporter job. Yeah. No, yeah, she, yeah, yeah. She just don't got no life. Yeah, yeah that too. Yeah. She but, trying to feel something. But uh-huh. like, but nigga, like you follow Tanya Brown on Facebook. This motherfucker, this motherfucker posted something every motherfucking day. <laughs> yeah, she posted last night about uh, major drug dealers got arrested in Dawson. For real? Yeah. We'll talk about that off air. <laughs> um, well, Dawson County. I'm sorry. Dawson oh, okay, County. okay. Dawson sorry. County, yeah. Okay. Um, since you said her, I'll say Wanda won because she finally going to get clean. Man, you don't know that, man. You've been saying that for three episodes. Let me have hope for this young black queen. <laughs> she was a black queen, now she a crack fiend. <laughs> So I say one to one because I think she she gonna get uh clean. I, I hope, Lord, I hope, and uh and she got the love of Lee who was on the run now. So I yeah. give it, I get it. Uh, she okay. had a good night with Leon. Yeah, she did. You know, this he spent the night with his old baby. And when he did that dumb shit the very next day, you think she did? No, oh Leon did. did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What about you? Who you think won? Uh, came out on top. Did the best this episode. Um, Lurk. That's his name, right? Lurk. Yeah, Lurk. 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 Yeah. yeah. Cause he out, he out now. Yeah, he out. You right? Yeah. Yeah, his conscience is clear. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. He, and he got out clean mm-hmm. so far. And you he can got re- out clean. And you can really see, um, he for his people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause so he said he was like, I, I didn't want to, you know, us killing us. I ain't right. thought it was gonna be that. And you, you know, know why? Saying? Like just just being a veteran and just talking to other veterans. The Vietnam War was one of those wars that when people came home, like it was like one of the heights of civil rights movement. So I come, I come from out this jungle. Possibly a war hero And you treat me like shit When I get here mm-hmm. So My people will be, That's all I got Yeah Yeah And, yeah. and, to, and to see y'all Mowing each other down In the streets Yeah Y'all strung out on crack And this and this and that You know what I'm saying This ain't This ain't what I want to, This ain't what I want To come home to You know what I'm saying When the Vietnam War Was in the 70s The 70s yeah. 70s okay well, shoot, They came home They came home on heroin And um all the hair run and yeah, the hair run and all uh-huh. that When they came back from there Yeah, yeah But that crack uh, that, shit, that shit was phew. I mean, heroin did it too, but crack was yeah, shit. it was cheaper, so yeah, everybody yeah. could get on that shit. Then everybody wasn't on heroin like that. Yeah, um, but you look back now. Look back. Let's take it back now. To, take it back to your boy um, Frank, Frank and that movie. Mm-hmm. Heroin was everywhere. Then. It was. Yeah, it was. Heron but it was, it, it was because you knew a heroin fiend before you knew a crack fiend. Well, you know, but you know what's crazy? Um, we all from Dollarson. 
I've never heard of heroin in, in Dollison until no, probably like, yeah, I never heard of heroin in Dollison. Until I I I, 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 was, I was in my thirties when I first heard like somebody had heroin in Dollison or somebody. I heard about heroin. it a little later. It was like the black tar shit though. It wasn't like the real. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like I heard about coke, crack, you know, pills, all that shit, but I never heard about heroin being dealt or, or done in Dollison. And I, I could be wrong. You're older than me, so if I'm wrong, uh, if you feel like it, you can elaborate. <laughs> I grew up somewhere else. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is my home. I grew up somewhere else. Yeah. Okay. So I've seen a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Then. So, yeah. So, like, but the point I'm making is we knew about crack. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But we didn't know about heroin in the 80s and dogs. But you know what, though? A lot of people call call all, like, if you're a fiend, they'd be like, you're a crackhead, crack you're a crackhead. Head. But everybody don't be a crackhead, though. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, crack broke families up. Mm-hmm. It did. Crack broke neighborhoods up. And it was right there on TV and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, th- I think the biggest issue they had with uh, with the crack was, like you said, was breaking up the homes and the crime rate. I think the biggest issue they had with the heroin was the overdoses. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? People were actually dying from that shit. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Uh, which it wasn't a problem until it started reaching, you know, the suburbs. Mm-hmm. Um, that MF shit, no? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so who y'all think lost the episode? Of course, Scully. Scully. Ooh. I wasn't thinking him, but yeah, he did take an L. Yeah, you lost your he daughter. He lost three homeboys. No, yeah, he lost three homeboys. Man, fuck, I mean, the homeboys cool. And the daughter. But my daughter. And the daughter. My daughter. But he didn't lose his his main homeboy though. I don't give a damn. I lost my daughter. No, I'm just thinking about the muscle shit though. I mean, him losing his daughter. Muscle. See, the thing is, Scully not in the same situation as Franklin. Muscle, no, yeah. muscle ain't never gonna be a problem for Scully. He got the whole bottoms, regardless. Muscle ain't gonna never be a problem for him because it's gonna always be in that gang. It's a revolving door. Yeah, true. One drop, one one, one gonna replace. But my daughter? Uh, but you know what Scully gonna think? He already tried to take out Leon. Mm-hmm. So he ain't gonna just be back on Leon again. He, no, it, like he I, I said. Franklin, too. That's what yeah. I'm saying. They, they, they always oh, tied yeah. them two together. That's what I was it, saying earlier. It might. Well, I was gonna say it might be all three of them against him. But n- like you said, he got people and that gonna make man boy switch. Uh, what's his name? Leon should have killed Khadijah too. Yeah, he should. He left a witness. Yeah, yeah, but you know that's part of part of the drama. Oh yeah, true, true. Now, Reed gonna come clean all that up. I don't know if he, he can't. He gonna have to clean somebody. Up. I don't know if he clean that one. He can't um, clean that up. He gonna have to bring it. Uh, he gonna have to clean up Scully or Man Boy. But you remember, you remember Franklin had already asked him for help with that. Uh, but now that mess with the money though. Who it ain't messing with his? No, because that's why that's why Franklin gonna expand and go to other places. Mm-hmm. So yeah, hey, ain't messing with so his. He, you know yeah. what I'm saying the, the, the money getting made, and that, yeah, because they really not selling like they they they. Yeah, because it, it's really messing with the money. Because if you remember what Jerome said, he said, "Tell him we ain't gonna buy as much." No, yeah, but yeah, Jerome want to go down. Franklin yeah. want to go up. But what I'm saying is the money, Reed money getting made off off of that and the guns. Reed that money gonna be made. So that's what I'm saying. Reed don't want to get too involved in the street level of it. Because you don't know who's gonna say something. Well, and his money, and see, Franklin, Franklin kept buying the same amount of work from Reed. He never slowed down, but mm-hmm. he's still buying the same amount of work, and that's why he was like, "Yo, let's find other places to set other cities to sell, so that we don't have to, um, you know, slow down or whatever." And, and, so. and Reed not the only supplier, you know, what I'm saying Cause you know, Reed, Reed don't supply like. Uh, people outside of Franklin who Franklin supplied Man Boy Scully, you know what I'm saying? But you know, you got the Mexicans. Uh, you remember the the, the, the guy, yeah. uh, the police chief told him y'all ain't the only Fuentes. ones using, yeah, y'all ain't the yeah. only ones using our, our city to get shit yeah, through. Yeah, true, true, so, true. I mean, like, re re gonna be straight. Like, I just think now what gonna happen is it's gonna be a whole lot of shit storm coming one way. Oh yeah, I can't wait for it. I um, can't, yeah, because because he, he really got to maneuver some shit now. Yeah. So Melo, who you think lost the episode? I can kind of agree with you, say, say, Scully. I mean. Cause he lost, he lost, lost his, his daughter. daughter. Yeah, but this dude is crazy, man. He's yeah, he crazy. crazy. Is it really going to affect him? Yeah, yeah. You you remember the scene where he was trying to like braid his daughter hair, put it in the ponytail? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like, he, 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 had, he had a relationship with her. Yeah, them, them. He he, he, ain't, he ain't like he ain't like a. Uh, uh, what my man name on Trinity they was? Uh, oh, Lonzo. He ain't right. like Lonzo where you know he just pop in, pop it, pop a uh-huh. mama real, real fast, and yeah. like he actually had yeah. lived his daughter yeah, lived with him. He had a relationship yeah. with him. You know what I'm saying? And the mama lived there too. And um. But if he drops something in his ear, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, it's on. Mm-hmm. It's on. Um, I think Leon lost because his whole world about to come crashing down. Yeah. 
He gonna be on the run. He can't go. He can't go to the. I think he might can go to the projects, but I, that girl, you know, what I'm saying the police probably gonna be on him. I don't know. I know it shows scenes of him like running or whatever. Fat back, you know, what I'm saying. Wait, you know, they know him. Mm-hmm. Everybody know Fat back. He the biggest, yeah. you know, dude in the, in the hood or whatever. So I but think Leon lost. But they ain't in the hood. I was thinking they was in front of the grandma's house. They was, but but yeah, what but, it happened but, that in front. Yeah. But, but, but I mean, but, but the mom survived. The mom saw it. So she so, gonna tell everybody, and everybody know that Leon but, yeah. in the project. Yeah, because because she, cause she probably the I, you don't, don't think so. She can't tell the police. No, nah, she can't. But I don't why even, not? I'm an innocent bystander. My daughter got killed. The well, police yeah. gonna, you know what I'm saying? Gang violence. Back to? Gang violence. They they can put it on gang violence. Yeah, but I'm saying she an innocent bystander. Yeah. That's yeah. that that be the thing that really make made the police. You know what I'm saying? Go after the gangsters because a lot of innocent bystanders, bystanders was getting hurt. killed. Not only did she get killed, Poppy got killed too. Yeah, Poppy got killed yeah. too. And um, Leon, the man, only one who alive. And and I think she don't know Leon. I think what she gonna tell them niggas is, I saw a nigga with an afro. Maybe. Cause she, cause she never met Leon. Leon didn't go to the funeral. She 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 met everybody. Know Leon, dog. No, what I'm saying, but she never met him to say, "Oh, that's Leon." Yeah. But either way, either way to do with the Afro, you right. But yeah, everybody yeah. know that's Leon. Cause you remember they from they from what Ingl- uh, Inglewood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They from uh-huh. South, they from Inglewood. Man boy from Compton. So you got to think about it. She ain't never saw Leon. Yeah. But what no, they from South Central. Yeah. I'm, no. Who? Le- who from, who Leon from? they from South Central. Yeah. The girl and and Scully them from Inglewood. Oh, they from Inglewood. Okay, you know I got you. I got you. So what I'm point I'm making is like she's never saw Leon to be like to know that's Leon. But the point I'm making earlier about the afro, why he don't braid it down, that's his calling card. Yeah, he need to braid it. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna, she gonna say it was a nigga with an afro. Man, he ain't and first thing that. Scully gonna say, Fire Franklin Shine. Yeah. Now it's gonna be fine Leon. Fine Leon. <laughs> Cause you know, he don't never leave the project. He yeah. just started doing that, yeah. And no, that's the only way he left to go mm-hmm. find where Scully was at. Yeah. He, he, and that, Scully that, been his in his domain. hood too. He was? Remember when he shot him? He, he was in the hood. He had to be Frank. I mean, Leon went, couldn't have been too far out the hood when he went and got that fool. You know what I'm saying? And they shot it, shot at oh, him the first oh, time. Oh, you talking about in the beginning? When, when yeah, he went too oh, far yeah, yeah, out yeah, the yeah. hood. Yeah, you're right. You, you know right, what I'm saying? You're right, you're so, right. and and we and we know uh, man boy that went the Scully hood too. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, who went? Now, who do y'all most identify with? Um, um in the I, episode, I identify with Lurt. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say too. I identify with Lurt just for just from the fact of everything that we already said. Mm-hmm. Um, being a veteran myself, having, oh, yeah, ha- having to make the decision was like, and I was a veteran during you know the height of the enduring freedom Iraq freedom war. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying that's the most bloodiest bl- war where we had the most deaths on our side ever. That's the mm-hmm. first or the second, the mm-hmm. second time. I was in the second time. Okay, what was it like? Oh four, uh, oh six. Oh, you was in oh six, oh six. So you know we first bombed them oh two. Um, oh yeah, then. I remember that. You know what I'm saying? I got some homies then. that was over there. You know what I mean, so that shit was so wild. That, so that was the first wave. 06 to like 09 was like the height of it. You know what I'm saying? 11, 2011 to now, we kind of ramping down. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's th- crazy that shit is still going on. Nobody wants to talk about it because because the it's more it's more under control now. Like it, it's more so it's kind of like Vietnam. We first went over. There, we didn't know what we was getting into. Mm-hmm. We went into a desert. It's 120 degrees. We got to build. We got to build. Uh, Runways for planes to land For helicopters to land We gotta get the Humvees Built over here And get them shipped over there So we got Navy ships Carrying stuff We got planes Carrying stuff Then we get there Now you're dealing With the people That their whole cause Is a religious purpose So they don't care About killing themselves mm-hmm. So you don't know Who's friend Who foe Cause we you got, ain't got we, no flag Yeah, yeah we, we, got, we got alliances Over there That we think are our friends that help us, you know, they, whether they interpret us or whether we trying to train their military. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now you got random car bombs, you got mm-hmm. RPGs, you know what I'm saying? IEDs. So, IEDs. So you did, we didn't know what we was getting into. So it came a point where it was like, if I get out, being from Dallas, my mindset was, I'm going to get out go work at Dixie Cup <laughs> or should I stay in? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I was just so fed up with being over there. And when I was over there, it was, it was brief. You know what I'm saying? I only did like a six-month tour. And half of it was on the ocean, but it was just little shit like that. Like, I don't want to do this shit no more. And I, I chose to come home, but like I said, there's a point where a man got to draw a line mm-hmm. for whatever the reason may be. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? My reason was I was missing my family. I had a cousin, um, Miss Bishop. Miss mm-hmm. Bishop, her son had just got killed at state. Mm-hmm. You know, he was about to graduate in December. He got killed in October. I came home in December. I enrolled in the state. That was one of the reasons why I enrolled. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was just little things like that. So that's why I identified with him mm-hmm. because it, it comes a time where – you got to make your own stand, and that's where a lot of black men and men in general fall short because we, we be too quick and eager to follow the crowd or want to please the crowd to drop our own nuts and say, nah, I ain't fucking with that. Mm-hmm. And then you go do some dumb shit and get caught on some dumb shit. When mm-hmm. you, and then when you after the result of dumb shit happened, you sit back and you tell yourself, 
I knew I shouldn't have did that, mm-hmm. or I knew I shouldn't have left. So that's what that's what I uh, the artist, well, not the artist, but the cats I relate to the most. Mm-hmm. What about you? Who you who you relate to the most in the in the episode? Uh, Franklin. Franklin. Yeah. Why you why why uh, Franklin? It's a lot of reasons, but um, one reason is is when you get that vision right, mm-hmm. and you trying to you trying to um, complete that vision, but you are trying to take some people with you, and you got to want them to see your vision. Mm-hmm. It's a hard thing, man. Yeah, you're right. Trust me. It's a hard thing. Trust me. You thinking, and sometimes you get you get so tunnel vision. I'm gonna say. It. Yeah, and that's what you so, can tell. He yeah, got that too. Mm-hmm. So that's all you see, right? And you think you think um, every decision that you make is right mm-hmm. because you're thinking it's, it's for the vision. That's why it's good to have somebody like Louis around. Mm-hmm. That's why it's good to have. You still got the respect for your mother, mm-hmm. right? Right. So you can listen, even Jerome, because mm-hmm. sometimes Jerome will tell Franklin. Doing some dumb stuff. Mm-hmm. You, see, you know, Jerome told, told him don't even get into the coke game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Even he, even um even Alton though. Yeah, Alton. Oh, um, yeah, and still to have Alton. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially if he was a panther and all of that kind of yeah. stuff. You need that. That nobody, every nobody's there for the process, but everybody try to be there for the congratulations. Mm-hmm. So, like you said, Franklin trying to bring everybody <laughs> about. Yeah, kill it, dope baby. <coughs> Sorry, little T. <laughs> Wrong pot. Go ahead, continue. My bad. <laughs> But uh, like, like you were saying, it, it's hard <coughs> to to lead a team when everybody's vision ain't the same, yeah. and you gotta you gotta entrust this one person to make all the right decisions. Mm-hmm. And and just like uh, Leon told him in the beginning, when he's at the hospital, like you the reason this shit even going on to start with. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So Leon already questioning Franklin's vision. Mm-hmm. His mom questioning is, is his vision still in the right place? Cause you were here too long. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And oh, I know what I meant to tell you too. What? Like, since we recapping. Uh-huh. Get y'all opinion. Oh, and remember, you said you was gonna say something at the oh, end yeah, too. You got something to say too. But what I was gonna I say was, I think that bitch working at the club, she got some underhand. Oh, shit I forgot on. about that. Oh, how yeah. did I miss that? Because um, you ain't me. Uh, you right. I forgot. That. Oh shit. Well, hold up. I when, 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 they, when, they, when they had the meeting in the room inside the club, and Franklin pulled the blinds down, he didn't even know she was working there. Mm-hmm. She, Louis said she came by and asked for a job, and I figured she was cool. Hey, you sleeping with her? But yeah, yo, there ain't no way that I look at because that's that's a good point. How Louis going hand so hand? How Louis going to hire her without not hiring Franklin first? Yeah, and I quote, "You sleeping with? Her, I figured I could trust her." Was yeah, I, was I wrong? Was I wrong? Yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying. That's but, what but, I meant. So, I was going. Yeah. So I you remember when he part. first looked at her? She's like, "Oh yeah." Uh, she came back for a job, and she was like, "Um, um, should I have not hired her or whatever?" And, he, and Franklin said something like, "Oh no, nah, I just didn't know." And then that's when Louis said, "Well, you sleeping with her? I think I could trust her." Was I wrong? If you notice, he never replied to that. They cut, mm-hmm. they cut the scene. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if Franklin said something or if that was you know on purpose. But why? I just think she had some underhanded shit. Man. Oh yeah. And why she didn't tell him he wanted she wanted a job at the club? Why she didn't tell him she was working at the club? Mm, I was. I don't even know what she do because the first time you seen her, I thought she. Did something with clothes it, or something. Yeah, the first time. Yeah, because she had on them clothes in, that, in yeah. the house. Yeah. yeah. And at the club, she, and then, that was his first too, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's his mm-hmm. first. And, and Louis said, Oh, you know, she can she knows that she knows the streets or she knows the area and she could uh hold things down while I'm gone. Yeah. And she can't, she got experience. But, yeah. Talking about but the club. But, yeah, but my thing is so who 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 did you have hired before her? Yeah. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who did you have hired before her? Nobody. Wait, wait, but now you got to hire the girl, this girl that came out of nowhere, which I understand the reason why, because Franklin, he done fail. He's he's fucking balls, knows wide open for her. I you understand. think so? Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, because you got, <laughs> he was like that with Mel, and then Mel. He is a square when it comes to that kind of shit. Yeah, you, you know, the only time, yeah. he was, only time he would play with it was when he was over there when Javi tried to shit him. But yeah, he, yeah. But that, that's, yeah. Like, that's the only time he kept it player. He'd go out there for money, but he'd get back to the money. Yeah, mm-hmm. but remember when he was out there, he you know he yeah. popped he popped him a little something. Yeah, you know she she, she helped he him. trusted her too. Yeah, too. Yeah, again being being square. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. But he didn't have nobody else to trust out there. You're right. Right. That moment, he had to trust was, somebody. He 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 really didn't trust Ivy. Ivy had him out there, but Ivy was doing some underhanded stuff too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So I that just I, I, I man I look at I ain't gonna say Louis doing that side. I, I don't think she was thinking clearly when she hired that girl though. But. Well, we're gonna see. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we gonna got see no choice. It. We got no choice. Only, only thing about that is, I feel like um, they keep a lot of work at the club. Yeah, they keep and a money. lot of money at the club. Mm-hmm. So, mm, I forgot. Um, I forgot about that. That was episode one. Yeah. So, yeah. um, that's gonna that's gonna come back to bite. Louis, so, 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 Fatback and um, Leon say 
That must be where he keep the money at. Talking about Scarlett's grandparents' mm-hmm. house. Now this Tanasi suddenly working at the club, and that's where Franklin keep some of the work and some of the money at. Mm-hmm. Cause I think like she got to have a connection to either man boy or Scully. She got to, you know what I'm saying. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's man boy, cause he 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 been a smart one the whole time. I thought Scully, cause Scully sent the girl in to, to kill man boy now. Mm-hmm. But it might, it, I'm, yeah, it might, it might be man boy. You might be right, cause she a little bit too, too patient with it. That seemed like some man boy. Oh, man, you know even, even when the shoot happened with Scully, she was like, "Well, I could call my homegirl so and so that worked down at the strip club with Scully cousin or something like that." You know what I'm saying? Like she had yeah. to, she had to go go through some people to actually yeah. find out what going uh, on with Scully. And she might have grew up, you know, what I'm saying in, you know, they part of South Central, but or whatever. But she might got family in uh. Inglewood, Inglewood, Inglewood or whatever. So no Compton, 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 yeah. Compton or Inglewood. You never know. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, but I just think she up to some shit but, though. But you know, um, um, Franklin's a good look for. Her. She's mm-hmm. secure with Franklin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. ain't safe right now, but it's still a good look for her. Though. But you remember, even, she don't know she ain't safe. Yeah, she don't know that, but it, well, she kind of do. No, she kind of do. She do. Yeah, because she do. Because shit with Scully. Because yeah. she know can't. Because even it played at the beginning of this episode, she was like, "Yeah, he's shot, but he ain't dead. He just mad. Yeah, he just yeah, mad. He mad he's so. real mad." But yeah. um, but even in the beginning, in episode one, when she first came came in, um, Franklin said, "I should have known you was gonna be here." And she's like, "Why you forget?" She's like, "Cause you know all the right people, uh, and you know all the who's the who, and you know what I'm saying and you in mm-hmm. all the parties." So that mean she could have been secure with anybody. Yeah, it's some people like that though that they know the right people, know all the people, yeah. and oh yeah, dog, I, got, I got I got gonna snap on Instagram. The, them, them, them shorters you see that's in the club Wednesday through Sunday in somebody's section buying bottles, but you never see the niggas. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah. she's just one of them. Then, yeah, yeah, I feel. But I think you. she bought a business though. She, oh, definitely. But what business she got? You I don't know, know. I mean, you take <laughs> self preservation. I don't know. Yeah. I think we might find out why she um why she was away. Cause then, then she go away and come back or something like that. Didn't they, didn't they say that in, in the first episode? Nah, like she went off to school. She, they didn't say that. They didn't no, say she he went off to school. Franklin went off to school. Yeah, he went. Okay. Off. Yeah, she said, "I, I didn't think I'd see you back here." Then she she said, said, no, that. she said, uh, "Yeah, she said, um, I never, I never thought I'd see you in this line of work." Yeah. Oh, okay. And, and she was like, "I, I heard some things." And she was like, "What?" She's like, "A uh, college, what did you say? A uh, prep school kid or prep college bound kid shot three times." Da da da. So basically, she was saying, "I was holding you in this light." Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying But you, you this mm-hmm. But I'm willing to fuck with you mm-hmm. Why you this mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying So yep. uh, That was a good episode Great uh, episode Great episode what, what was the writer name Hiram Hiram uh, Martinez I think that's what it is Hiram Martinez You did a good one with that one yeah. Oh boy. yeah Oh yeah It was a team of them But I'm not gonna listen to all of them He's the first one on there So We gonna go with him um, um, what, you, what you think will happen next episode I, we, we, we might be totally off uh, What you think We kind of was t- I know I was totally off Yeah um, I think it's gonna be a whole lot of running. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think um, what's his name, Leon? Uh, better have his uh, Nike Cortezes <laughs> tied tight or his Adidas right. Superstars tied tight, cause he gonna have to do a whole lot of running. Or, or he gotta be war ready. He ain't got. Uh, yeah, I he mean, will. cause Scully got a project. He got a project. Yeah. Um, got to see who got the biggest war chest. Yep. Let's see who got last. Who? Yeah. Um, what well, you think gonna happen? Uh, man, I I think uh. I think I think the reporter gonna get too close for comfort mm. next episode. Um, I think, I th- to be honest, I think a very uh, key character is gonna die next episode. Mm. Like I like, of course we know it ain't gonna probably be Franklin, but I, I really think like either Louis or Jerome or somebody, Le- Leon, yeah, somebody, gonna, somebody, some, somebody close. Beginning. Cause you know what I'm saying it's about mid season. You know what I'm saying it's about time for that for that mm. that, that high drama. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That, oh, the, the little girl getting killed wasn't enough high drama. Oh, that was the pivot. That was the trigger. <laughs> but, that was the trigger. Um, Leon and um, Louis going to um, and Jerome and, um, and Unk. They going to Lil Rock. Lil Rock. Jordan, but, yeah. but, but there's been times where people got caught leaving. They going to make look, it. Look, look at uh, what's that? Lonzo. La Lonzo's, Lonzo's trying to get to the airport. Trying to get out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can shoot me, but uh, you can't kill me. Yeah. You shoot me, but you can't kill me. I'm winning anymore. Oh, <laughs> what about you? What do you think will happen next episode? Leon and uh, Franklin are gonna get back together and team up. Yeah, they ain't still ain't that strong together though. Nah, they're not. Leon is. Franklin ain't. Leon just he, yeah, but Leon can't go nowhere. Wait, yeah, he, he can't. He, he on the run. The project, live, you you save some places in them projects. That's what I'm saying. But he he, he, he normally didn't leave outside of the most he left outside of them projects was in the first two or three seasons yeah. when he was always at um Franklin Lu- and Crew. Franklin and Louis, Louis them house. Crew, yeah. yeah, but now they don't got no work so. 
They don't well, got yeah, no work yeah, on they they got got no work. No, they, they they should be done. Cause they had like one left. They had like one bird. Right. Yeah, yeah they, they should be done. So, but it, it, might, it might be in his interest to mess with Franklin, mess with Franklin, and, 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 and make make it about this war, but also be like, go ahead, get me straight while I help you. But mm-hmm. you know, the crazy thing is, everybody interest the hot lap for Franklin Scullies too. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, man boy. Yeah, mm-hmm. but, well, yeah. well, not man boy. Because remember, Louis said man boy always trying to find other uh people to get the product from cheaper. Yeah, yeah. yeah so man boy maybe not so. But when it comes to us, we he frankly got it. Yeah, yeah. Because you can't go over there. To, you see what happened when you try to go to the essays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm thinking at this point, I don't think Franklin probably the only black guy that got coke at, at this point. I don't, I don't think he's the only one. Maybe he's the only person in South Central, but you got to remember, they from Inglewood and Compton. You he know got that good, though. Yeah, yeah he, he got the good. He got the good, but who's to say whoever was... Yeah, the, true. Somebody the, else, man. The, the, the counterpart, ain't, the free Ricky back then, yeah. ain't had it by, by now. Ain't nobody yeah. ain't one like Franklin. Remember, he come from the government. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He, he, he getting that A1 for Rico. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But um, And you know what's crazy? I always wonder how, how it was getting over now. Because you remember damn um, Reed Kilp, uh buddy. Oh, it's still getting through there. He dead. But I'm saying, so remember, remember they was making it um, in that one little area. Mm-hmm. And remember, the little boy was an uh, informant. They killed the little boy in the jungle. And remember, they said they had to pick up and move the camp. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then you know we kind of just lost touch with you know who was making it. And all well, that wherever they're getting it made, it's still getting made. Oh, oh it, it, it's still and it's, it's still and it's, and it's pure, yeah, But yeah, see, yeah. they not they not flying it over no more. He ain't doing. He's driving yeah, it to Tijuana. Yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying. So they got that dude out, the hundred thousand dollar dude out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. So, but but that's that's the thing that the uh, guy came to talk to him about. Like we don't know who he, who they gonna replace him with now. Oh yeah, true. And they, they might replace him with a motherfucker that's really about stopping crime. Yeah. Cause you remember, like going into mid, gonna, mid to late eighties was when they ho- they started trying to crack down, not in Tijuana, but when they tried to uh, crack down on the cartels. But, yeah. but that's when, well, well, when they did that with that campaign, right? Mm-hmm. That's when the most after that. That's when the most came in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but do you, but on the surface, we got to make it. Well, it well really it was going on at the same time though. Like they was going, they were saying that, but they were saying just say no and all of that. You know, stop the crime and all of that. Yeah. But the other people, like the president, that didn't know that these people, the CIA, and all these people had this going on mm-hmm. on the side. You know, to to do this because we assume he don't know. No, he didn't know. He almost got. He almost. They almost went to jail behind it because the thing with mem- the thing I was talking about with them with the weapons and all of that, mm-hmm. it wasn't illegal per se. It almost it was something about it. Um, it was it's some um like to do covert covert operations with those agencies or whatever. It kind of got to be signed off by the president, mm-hmm. and something they did didn't get done as far as getting it signed off. Mm-hmm. And because of that, um, like the weapons thing, the weapons deal part of it. Because of that, um, the president almost was uh, impeached and almost was um. Who was the president? Like, was it Reagan? Reagan, yeah, it was Reagan. Um, and it, he basically gave him the okay. But they never did the paperwork mm. for it. And because they didn't do the paperwork, that's what it was. So he didn't know certain parts of it. You know what right. I'm saying? His his um like the people under him, uh, one of like one of the main people that people know is Oliver North. You know what I'm saying? He was like the the, the head military dude back then. Mm-hmm. Like, it was a couple other names or whatever, um, that did know and and, you know, pull some strings up, you know what I'm saying, um, some underhanded strings to get all this stuff done. But um like these people saying just say no. But these people was like, "Yo, we got to get this done over here, yeah. and this how we gonna fund it or whatever." Right, right, right. Um, but so how how, how much of it you think is true when they say uh, the government was giving coke to the to the hood to try to destroy the black population? I think it's kind of just like snowfall. Like the CIA was like, "We got this drug. We got a Franklin Saint selling the drug." You know what I'm saying? Um, That's the coke though That's before they even knew Crap was gonna be a thing Yeah but they were selling the coke Somebody said Somebody was like Some people believe that The government was like Making the crack And selling it Or whatever mm-hmm. um, But I heard, I was talking to somebody They was like Cause I figured like Who gonna Experiment on their coke um, To make crack or whatever They was like People was kinda doing that With free base mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying Really coke is just free base Without the ether Right You know what I'm saying Cause people was burning it, You know what I'm saying Catching themselves on fire With the ether or whatever So with them, with people cooking up the crack, it made them made it a, a safer way for them to get high. 
You know what I'm saying? Safe way for them to do free base kind of. You know what I'm saying? So it might have been somebody in the street that figured out how to do it. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, you know how the woke the woke population try to say that that was the government way of trying to uh, depopularize the black community. Oh, uh, we get the black community, blink, uh, weaken the Black Panther Party, all that. And then it's the side of the truth of the government was uh, we need to fund this war, but we don't give a fuck about what happened as long as it gets sold. So. Which side do you think is more true? The government side funding for the Contra War or, or are we trying to break up this Black Panther Party and, and, and fuck up the black neighborhoods so we could kick them out of the, uh, the gentrified neighborhoods and this and that and the third? I think it, I think it's a little bit of both. I think it's um, more along the lines of with, with it like messing up the black neighborhoods or whatever. I think it was just the government getting lucky with that. Because you don't know how people... Cost, gonna, cost of doing business. Yeah, because I don't think... Nobody can... Foresee what the drug use, as far as that kind of stuff, was going to do. Like they didn't, you can't, you can't predict that it's going to be all this violence. You know what I'm saying? You can't predict it's going to be that addictive the way it, you know what I'm saying. Like a lot of the stuff you can't really predict. I, that's why I say that they got lucky, right? In order to like basically um, uh, break down a whole. Neighbor, neighborhoods and stuff like that Whole areas of of of, of uh, Because you know they said That's one of the main ways They broke up the Black Panther Party I didn't um, that, part, that section that was in Like Cali and LA And all that But you know They were not crack. In Oakland In Oakland, Oakland yeah, yeah. Now, well, I mean, If you realize what When they When they went and got the recipe Where they got the recipe from Oakland Mm-hmm You're right Mm <laughs> uh, I don't know I even like with people that like hustle or whatever, and they they like get big time. Mm-hmm. I always consider them lucky. Like they know the right people. They grew up in the right time. Right. Like you know what I'm saying. Everybody like if you put ten people out and say go hustle, nine of them ain't gonna do it. But it's gonna be that one who know the right person. You know what I'm saying. Who got a connection. Well, just like anything in life, like you connect. It, you know what I'm saying. You got a certain set of skills or whatever. You right. can do it. You know what I'm saying. It takes skill to be a big time man or whatever. Mm. You know what I'm saying, but but for anything you gotta be prepared to. Yeah, that's a part of luck, though. To uh, me, you know what I'm saying. When the opportunity come, you gotta you be gotta prepared. be ready. Yeah, so yeah, that's like when Franklin first met Harvey, and he was just going to cop with a, a zone for the white boy, a mm-hmm. coat, and Harvey was like, I don't, I don't sell, um, at least I don't sell grams, and I don't sell the kids. I deal in kilo, and and Franklin just had the mindset to say, well, well, front me a key. Yeah, everybody else wanted to did that. Everybody wanted to put that vest on either. And and it, it shocked me that he even knew what the fuck a, co- a key of coke was at that time. Mm-hmm. Cause you know that was a drug for you know the rich for rich people. Like, yeah, but he was smart. And you see, who he, look who he was hanging with though. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Well, he he lived with them. So yeah, but I I would have never thought at that age to call it a key. You know what I'm saying if you just come around with a couple grams, like for my 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 my, my mom and pop was bringing these grams for our actors to use while they you know recording mm-hmm. and partying, I'd have never thought to call it a key. Well, maybe they probably you know back then. Oh, I mean it's still TV now. I mean, it is TV, Still but... TV. I mean, yeah. So. I guess. Yeah, I remember what... Ooh, I was about to tell him. <laughs> anyway, um, so y'all, check us hey, out. Hey, uh, hold up. Do, do, do like the books and the movies do and just change the names? I can't change the names because <laughs> I was about to talk about me. <laughs> um, can't let everybody know where they can find you on social media, bro. Oh, uh, man. Uh, Facebook, Hennessy Blacks. Uh, Instagram, Hennessy Black, two Cs instead of C and a K. Uh, Snapchat, Hen on the Rocks. Get at me. Let me know. Do your reviews. Tap in with us. Melway, you want to be fine on social media? No, just tell him to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all want to find him? Ask me. You can find <laughs> find me on social media, preacher underscore bp. Um, email you can email the show djbladeshow at gmail dot com. Um, you can call us up. Let us know what you think. Four 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 three six two three seven zero. Um, thank y'all for listening. It's your boy Be Easy. It's your boy Kane. It's me, Mel, and we out. Sam, just smoke crack, don't you? <laughs>